Yep. All right, begin. All right. Do I have the correct studio this time? Let's see. All right, first, nice. Thanks for bringing the stream. See, am I live? Right, begin. All right. Okay, it was live the whole time. Sweet, and I got the right studio and everything. Thanks for stopping by first. Nice catching on stream, not Twitch. Oh, it's because I have the bigger audience on YouTube. It should get for a bigger stream that way. It should be more fun. And thanks everyone for stopping by already. Hey, what kind of monster schedules 407? Yeah, I, I just scheduled the stream like manually through OBS. Uh, and then I just hit live basically after after I do all my settings properly. Sup, Valence? Howdy. Glad I got the right chat also. Third time's a charm. I have the right studio. I have everything right uh, working. We set up my monitors and everything to get it all the way I like it. What a sec. So excited to start stream, but now I have to assemble everything. Assemble. And Santiago, welcome. Ignatius, welcome. Welcome, uh, Martin, right? I remember your name, Martin. Uh, how's it going? Howdy, Doru. Yeah, let's go 8 p.m. Yeah, I'm on the Pacific time in the United States, so it's noon for me. I was trying to get going just in kind of in the morning to beginning of the afternoon time. But maybe I should try a little earlier, maybe about maybe 10 or 11 my times, so maybe, uh, maybe a couple hours earlier. But wait for everyone to kind of join in. Okay, Temporal Sunrise, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Let's see, I've already got all my settings all right. I got it all right, just ready in time. Magnus Throne 58, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully the audio is all working for y'all. So, as you can see from the title, a very special stream today. We are going to start the series of destroying the Grox, and we're going to do it on hard difficulty. Uh, it's Diego Nasius, welcome. Don't speak English while I like your videos. Thanks for thanks for watching. Thanks for watching as well. Avoid the uh, subtitles, like the auto subtitles, um, work for your language so you can watch along. Uh, we are so wait, on for this first stream. We're going to do on hard, and I'm going to use any glitch I can think of. We're going to do it as. I'm serious here with me. Nice. Yeah, maybe my uh, cat Maggie will come in. Uh, and sit with us, and you can hear some meow noises. But we are going to, yeah, for my first run, because I've never done anything quite like this before. So usually I will like do like a, you know, some little testing, like do like a pre-run, kind of that really worked out uh, last week where we tried to ally the Grux, but it didn't work out so well because of the embassy thing. But because I had the uh, the video from earlier, I was able to show it was still possible. But for destroying the Grux, I've never done something this ambitious in the game before. So you're all going to experience this first try with me so that this is why i'm going to i'm going to do it on hard but i'm going to use every glitch at my disposal and our goal is going to be destroying the grox but also going to get every badge welcome comet physician informer welcome to the stream gothic hello welcome special part of the series it's very special start of the series <laughs> other ones were unique yeah every every stream has been special so far because i've been having such like a specific uh, goal in mind. Yeah, hey Martin, glad you're, glad you're excited. If I was order 66, if we don't execute any order 66 for this stream, hell, welcome to the stream. So the main glitch that will probably be featured for this video is the invincible spaceship uh, glitch, and that's gonna make this a lot easier. And that's, uh, and I'm probably anticipating many people throughout the series probably going to come in and say, how is he not taking damage? So maybe we have some chat bot or something say, like, he's using an in-game glitch. So I don't want people to think I'm, like, modded or anything. It's an in-game glitch, and we're going to use the Invincibility Spaceship to help us destroy the Grox. Because this is my first time ever doing something like this, uh, I wanted to make it you know, nice and smooth, nice and systematic, and kind of make it all work out nice and smoothly. And then maybe if it all goes super well... Um, yeah, we're gonna start from self stage. We're gonna go through this through the stages because I want the I need the um, the re uh, return ticket to become invincible. So we'll be go becoming shaman into space stage, and we'll I'll walk walk through that once we get started. Hey Martin, thanks for stopping by again. Uh, this is genocide percent. 
Uh, yeah, once we get to space, but to get the return ticket, we're going to be somewhat peaceful in the first four stages. But that's going to be such a small portion of the run that, yeah, the majority will be destroying the Grox. Hey, El Nisho, hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Feel free to correct me about anyone's name if you uh, prefer a different name other than your, uh, your listed name there so I can pronounce it properly. Yeah, so... If it's a day, how long do you think it's going to take? Uh, I think I heard an estimate that should take about 50 hours, but that's, an, again, another thing that we're going to be able to work with with this stream for the first time and see how long this should take. And then maybe afterwards, if it goes perfect and everything smoothly, because this run is going to be specifically uh, about uh, getting all badges, so that includes outlining the Grox and destroying the Grox. I'm going to add in the extra glitch about trading with the Grox just because I find that interesting, but I'm also going to... Perhaps later in the future, we can do something like a 100% run, and then we're going to do a 100% run with no glitches. So maybe you'll have to not use the invincible spaceship, something like that. So kind of like I was kind of mentioning earlier, where I always like to do like a practice run so I can make the stream as, uh, you know, as, as focused as possible so I know what I'm doing. But since we're doing this all together for the first time, I'm going to use all the glitches I can to make it as smooth as possible. And then once we have this experience under our belt, we can maybe then do a 100% run uh, with no glitches. Because I'm starting to do these series on YouTube. I haven't done too many yet. Or I'm starting to not use as many glitches as possible because I actually find that kind of more interesting. So, But for this run, we're going to be using all the glitches we can, including the Invincible Spaceship. And then right on cue, there's Maggie. Sitting here, so Maggie noises, my calico. Get up. Yeah, she doesn't know we're streaming, so she's probably just gonna jump. There we go, right into my lap. <laughs> You're the kind of guy who screenshots the entire whole galaxy taken? Yeah. So we'll see how many um, uh, colonies we'll make as well. We've been waiting for this day. Yeah, this is definitely my most requested run in the years of comments I've been receiving, so yeah, this is. Definitely a big moment to start. Yep. No webcam just yet. Not quite ready, but eventually I think we'll be getting the webcam going. But I will be doing that as well. Uh, I'll probably also be recording this locally just in case this does become a video. Uh, I will have the raw footage to make this into a video for YouTube later so I don't have to uh, destroy... I mean, I don't have to use like the YouTube's uh, uploaded video, how about a better local recorded video? This is picture of the galaxy. I'm in this picture. <laughs> Alright. Vo... Vogish? Vogish throne? Like, what the fuck? I mean, Vogue... Vogish throne? I don't know if the G is supposed to be pronounced, but I'm gonna say Vogish... Vogish throne? I'll try to remember that. It's like Vogue from the next... Okay. Or just Vogue... Vogish. Oh, if it's like Vogue from Magazine, uh, you pronounced it wrong, welcome to the term, but it's okay. For our Vogue, for it to be called Vogue, if you don't remember. I think hopefully it's Vogue, I hope I'm getting that right. Get, hopefully I'm getting closer. <laughs> this will take forever. Yeah, hopefully it won't take too long. And hopefully this will encourage me to do more streams so we can just kind of grind out all of the grocks. Oh, Rose... Rosie... Ro... Rosia55, <laughs> isn't that right? That's right. Alright, Vogish. Vogue. Uh, Vogue. Alright, I'll we'll go with Vogue. I think I'll remember that. Or Vogish, because that's closer to the name that I see. Okay, definitely correct me. I've probably messed it up plenty of times, but let's, uh, let's start the run. Alright, so, of course, this is the same um, starting position we always use with the purple spice uh, moon, so we'll be using the same position. Been trying for a year. Okay. Oh man, that, that's that's for voting. So hopefully, uh, don't, don't don't take that long. It's pronounced was Erica Y. Okay. Might be like uh, Mike Spanish. Yeah. Hopefully, I get that right eventually. Order ninety nine. All right. YouTube scenario, welcome. Yeah, feel free to answer any questions, uh, Martin. We'll be happy to answer them. All right, let's begin. Of course, nothing is locked. I like how this save has nothing um, 
unlocked. It's like only cell stage has ever been present. So it's kind of like that new game plus thing where all the grocks will be present and there's no space stage uh, interference anywhere. Nice. All right. So, uh, yeah, so in case anyone's wondering about new game plus or anything like that. So we are going to start, I like the, uh, this character, this blob character, and we're going to start on hard, but we are going to be herbivore for most of cell stage. So let's now begin. I do need to collect some meat to make sure we can mate, but we're going to be green out of cell stage, blue out of creature stage, green out of tribal stage, and green out of civilization stage. Try to find Earth. Yo, uh, Yaro Yani, thanks so much for the super chat. Uh, 5SDG. I'm not exactly sure how much that is, but thank you so much. Celebrate their 20th super strat in a live stream. <laughs> Congrats. <laughs> Watch and chat more than the game. Yeah, thanks so much for the super chat. Have luck and have fun. I will. So we want to have... So we need the return ticket. Which means we need to be green out of at least three of the first four uh, stages. So we can afford to have one non-green stage. And I'm going to choose to be adaptable out of creature stage because that gives us the best benefit in um, space stage. Because it gives us zippy and makes us our ship go faster and that should be really beneficial. Singaporean dollars, I think? Nope, and I'm not paying attention again. And I'm done. But that doesn't matter. We're still going. Nice. Thanks again for that. That's awesome. Oh, I guess the other people can like the super chat. That's really cool. And now we got the herbivore mouth. So we're going to focus on herbivore. And I just decided just to call it like myself. Because it's going to be the Kingly Valence Empire. Yeah, I spelled that right. You play other games? Yeah, I mostly play this game and Halo and Portal are my, my favorite games. I might try to do those on stream. I do play some rhythm games, but I'm not sure if I'll do that on stream. Uh, that way you can say the Kingly Valence Empire, almost kind of like like a watermark in a way for the video in case that becomes necessary. People want to show it around, they can see where that came from. Fish85, uh, well, how was everyone? Nick, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. So I spent all my money on our filter feeder herbal now. But I don't have any defenses, so I'm gonna get attacked by the chompers. Try playing Fire 1 and 2. I might check that out. Yo, I finally got the dashboard up so I can see how many viewers we have. 106 viewers, that's incredible. Thank you all so much for stopping by. This is this is a great start to the stream, and I'm really excited for how well the stream is gonna go. And of course, that guy takes all of my my plants, and that guy gets oh he, he stole it through that the plank in there. Difficulty. This is hard, I'm pretty sure. I think I picked hard, and that's why I'm not getting any uh, any plant pieces. And I'll definitely be able to tell later, as uh, we can tell by like the he the health count in creature stage and space stage. But I'm pretty sure it shows hard. This doesn't feel like easy. That's for sure. And I'm looking for any plant pieces. Of course, we have the uh, timer up, which hopefully is showing at three minutes already. But for a run that's going to take 50 hours, I'm not overly concerned with how long cell stage is going to take. Don't want to eat any meat because I want to be green. I'm going to steal that. Just barely surviving. There we go. ISFN, hi. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. Crocs are friendly. Yeah, they're going to be allied at the start, because I need- I want all badges for this run. Ooh, we just snuck around that guy. Get that plant piece. And then we will cancel the alliance and start destroying them, because destroying them with volcanoes, maybe even just with our straight laser, might be faster than something like trade routes being allied, so that should be a lot, should be a lot faster to do it that way. So we're going to make our way up to the top. Hopefully it should let, let, let us get green out of cell stage. Yeah, we're going to alloy the grox first, because I'll, yeah, I also want all the badges. Yeah, it's going to be a kind of a two-parter objective. But hopefully we should be able to get all the badges as we just play, because this should take so long. And yeah, I'm getting chomped. Oh, loud cell. I gotta remember how... I gotta remember to like look back at... 
maybe I should have just got rid of the carnivore mouth. If I prefer to look back at the chat, I'm just so used to just you know playing by myself for all the videos for YouTube that I'm just used to looking either at the stream at the game or I'll be too distracted by the chat. Destroy the inferior Grok scum exactly. Our our single cell right now is going to evolve all the way to destroy the 2400 star systems. Supposedly that's the the Groks have. I like the Groks to be the easy part. Yeah, exactly. It shouldn't take that long. And allying the Groks is part of the goal for the first day for this stream. This, uh, getting the space stage should take about an hour, depending on how, how long this takes. You know, of course, the speed run, I have about 50 minutes, but there's a lot of improvements since then. I want that part. See if we can survive. I want that part before I die. I want at least two mobility parts on our cell before going into creature stage, as that gives us more unlocks later into creature stage. Can I get one more piece? I'm gonna go for this piece before I die. Got it. This is the outlying the Groks, uh, so I'm going to, so they kind of the order we'll see once we get in space stage. Actually, no, don't eat this. We are going to get some money pretty quick with our purple spice. We will then use the ghost ship glitch to get to the center of the galaxy after talking to the Grox slightly to then become invincible. And then we we'll then we will ally the Grox from there. And then we will do a little bit of work to get a couple other uh, badges along the way. I should probably mate. I don't know why I'm not. <laughs> Can I get this before I die? Nice. There we go. Let's add a little bit of mobility. When you cheese tribal stage isn't that bad? Yeah. I mean, Red tribal stage isn't such a chore uh, as it kind of seems without all- once we use all the glitches. It makes it a lot better to play through. And we'll be able to see that even on hard. Because I'll be using all of the glitches I can think of for this particular run. And that guy stole the big piece of plant. And this guy stole all the other pieces. Tribal is just too buggy. Yeah, I'm actually using- hopefully the game doesn't crash because I'm actually using a- uh, this world was used to crash a lot more than the one I'm starting to use more now. If you kind of know the um, the civilization stage layouts, try to describe it. They both have six spice geysers, but the layout is slightly different. And I feel like the layout I'm using here, it's just the system I like to use for these types of large runs, longer runs. Uh, this planet configuration so somehow feels like it crashes more. So that happens in tribal stage. So I'll be definitely be making a lot more saves to uh, to make sure we don't lose our progress. Try to find YouTube, the only person who's trying to start on Grox. Uh, I'm glad to be the, the person to push the envelope on that. Glad to do it. Hope I don't get zapped and die. And I die. <laughs> actually into a travel stage? Yeah. If It's actually not too bad once you like get to know it pretty well. And we are in the green. And I'm just not... It, being an omnivore in cell stage is so much easier. Just going for one diet does take a lot longer. When you use exploits, play less of the past stage. It actually make, yeah, it makes it a lot better. You can play more space. Got bullied for really for for sure. Oh, and I missed the piece. Let's go back for it. Cell stage at least I can just kind of bumble my way through. Let's avoid all of the meat. I should probably mate again to get another movement piece. Oops, too many escapes. Makes it go a little bit faster. PB glitch essential for travel stage, yeah. I'm working on a, a video without using glitches and basically doing the pitiful worm video, but with no glitches and yeah, without the infinite baby glitch you actually have to spend 10 food points for each baby makes it a lot take a lot longer and hopefully we don't get zapped again and uh, <laughs> come on i want to find some plants i want to get out of cell stage all right take it more seriously there we go plant piece woo because i really want to be green out of cell stage why i'm not being a why i'm not eating meat is we want to be green out of cell stage so we can get the return ticket later in space stage to become the invincible spaceship so any time taken here in space stage ooh, take a spike 
will be more than made up for by being invincible once we get into creature stage. But I need at least three green, uh, at least three green exits out of the first four stages. Oh, man, I ate, ate a meat piece. And it's just traveling along with me. Come on, let's go a little faster. Wow, 174 viewers. That's crazy. Thank you all so much for stopping by. It's, it's, gr it's being even a better start to this run. I'm glad all of you are enjoying uh, watching me fumble about in cell stage, but we're almost done. We're entering the last section, and I'm probably going to have that entire thing stolen. Yep. Help me out what philosophy? Yeah, it's the uh, shaman philosophy that gets the return ticket. Hopefully I've gotten all that all that right. It's mostly green out of the first four stages. What does return ticket do? It uh, lets you return to your home planet wherever you are in the galaxy. So if you go onto a planet, you can activate wormhole key. Or the, not wormhole key. The uh, return ticket. And then it will bring you right back home. And give you a brand new spaceship along with it. And that, we can use a glitch with this, with return ticket. Uh, you, after the ghost ship glitch. Okay. She wants more pets. Uh, to become invincible. And I did. Cur clearly not invincible yet, but our spaceship will become invincible using a trick with the wormhole key combined with a couple other tricks. And y'all let me find some plants. You see how the speed run is a lot faster being an omnivore. Return to your home planet. Yeah, exactly. No, I want, I want that piece. Got it. All right, almost. Yeah, dying in cell stage is actually somewhat beneficial because it resets the uh, surrounding area, which possibly gives us a better chance to find more plant pieces uh, faster. That's actually kind of the uh, the trick for, oops, the pitiful worm runs because you're so slow once you like leave your initial area, you no longer have, you're not going to be able to drive or you know, swim all the way to another plant piece. Dang, it is hectic out here, but I see a plant piece. We're almost done. We are firmly in the green, which is good for us. We're almost... I wonder what those do. Does that bring us down? I'm not sure if eggs count. Eggs might not count. It's kind of like in... Uh, creature stage, when we eat eggs, it doesn't move us on the timeline, which we saw in that shortest timeline ever video. Is that like eggs are just like neutral, they don't count for either. And also in that pitiful worm run, I was going to not use any eggs because of how much they could just be used to pass all of uh, all of creature stage. I think we're high enough that we might be able to eat some meat and not have it affect our distance. It looks like attacking also is because it's taking a bit too long. We're only like one away. Those guys unfortunately don't count towards the timeline, so I'm just gonna try to just leave. And we should still be in the green. One more green. Yeah, this is not the greatest all stage, but that's fine. We're, we're through. We're done. 13 minutes. On hard, okay, definitely on hard. You know, like you can eat eggs with a herbivore moth? Yeah. So I was going to design somewhat of a good looking creature. I'm, not, I'm honestly not the best uh, creature creator. Like Dark Edge TV, they're a lot better. But I wanted to at least make something that y'all kind of want to look at for the next 50 hours. Ha, <laughs> that looks pretty funny. But I was just kind of kind of make it look like basically the creature is just standing. And kind of give it a bit of a tail. I kind of made this look a little bit earlier, but bear with me here as we make it look somewhat reasonable. Hey, kitty. I kind of wanted to make it look like a little dinosaur or something. Make it look like this, so... <laughs> because when it's in the um, the spaceship, the, uh, the communication panel, you're going to be staring at this all the time, so I wanted to make this look a little okay but probably won't look that amazing. And we're a bit, not like we're doing a sp quite the speed run, but trying to go, trying to go somewhat fast. I'm just gonna sell that. And we'll add more parts once we get into creature stage. I don't have too many parts yet. <laughs> Cat, yeah, this is Maggie, my calico. She'll probably join us for a lot of the streams. I think that looks like fine. 
Yeah, the Balasaurus, yeah. It's kind of like that example creature from uh, the Creature Stage Glitches video. I might still make some more adjustments as we go through. Oh, I need to click off of the game so it doesn't have any sound. So uh, there's a lot of copyrighted songs that get claimed by YouTube in, in this game, especially during the loading screen. So I'm gonna click off during the loading screen. And when you click off of Spore for some reason, the audio uh, goes away. So during the loading screens, I'll click off. So we don't hear the song, so I don't get copyright claim. There was two copyright claims for Galactic Adventures last week. And I just removed like the I removed the song, but I wonder if that actually removed the chat. Because it doesn't have the live chat anymore, which I thought was odd. Hopefully this isn't too loud. Let me know if it's too loud and I can lower it for y'all. It's a bit loud for me. Uh, I wonder if doing any kind of edits like just like breaks the um, the live chat replay. Yes, yeah, apparently it's not. Maybe it's not original. I guess it's not. But yeah, that song during the loading screens, the um, the song that when you gift tribal stage, like the dun 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 dun, dun that, that that's copyrightable. I have to make sure to avoid hearing that for too long at a time. And I, and apparently some of the Galactic Adventures videos, whether it's actually able to be claimed or not, because that's kind of the thing on YouTube. Almost all the Galactic Adventures copyright. Yeah, so I'll probably just turn off the music if we do Galactic Adventures on stream, just to avoid that. So we are going to become adaptable, but I'm just going to start out socializing here because it's a lot easier on hard. And then we're going to be a lot more aggressive in creature stage because I want to go down to adaptable because I want the speed demon which makes our spaceship go a little faster. Oh, I don't have any sprint. Whatever. Let's do the, uh, the, the mate. That is. Let's get right into the mate. So we are going to add, oh interesting, we still missed a piece. Whatever, we got this. Oh, I missed the grubby grabbers? I thought having two movement pieces would have given us all of what we wanted, but unfortunately I didn't get what I wanted. We missed one piece. Maybe I needed more movement pieces. I'm not still sure how that quite works. It's a, It's how many like, pieces you have on you like we're gonna miss some weapons pieces because we didn't have the spike on in cell stage and because we didn't have movement pieces we didn't get the movements here so maybe i'll just put these guys on i do need arms though make this shrink up a little bit more i'm gonna shrink this guy's noggin just a little bit make him look a bit like that put arms in a little bit pull it up and that looks fine. This, there we go. These hands look fine. Uh, it's crazy. It's pity for the spore belongs to EA. Yeah. Imagine spore battle royale. Love your content. No thanks. Lucas thirteen. That's really appreciate that. We gotta put some wings. I'm gonna place these with some wings. Maybe I could have put the boosters on or something. But I'm str it's strange. I thought that was going to give us all the pieces we wanted. And we'll put. Oh cool. We got the good sprint. Put some uh, Shrek pieces on for now. I think that's all we need for now. Actually, we're going to put any better bite. Doesn't look like it. So we'll just stick with this bite for now. Yeah, that'll be fun. You going for asymmetric parts? Uh, we can, but uh, I don't need any asymmetric so far. Cute, paw ha cute hand paws, yeah. Looks pretty cool. These guys, these guys probably weren't worth very much. Do a bit of exploring. For speed runs, normal runs, 90% is enough. Yeah, I want to support actual mod support. Yeah, I kind of would like the mods to add, if it was possible to add a little bit more than just kind of like, uh, like uh, quality of life improvements. That way we can kill these guys. So we're going to be aggressive to get into the adaptable range uh, so we can get So we can get a uh, zippy for space space stage. Let's get this guy's attention. Oh, they always win the charge off. I lost the charge off. We both charged each other, but it's fine. We'll win the they won that battle, but they lost the war. Sport make a comeback. Yeah, hopefully this will be the start of where people are playing or watching Spore. That'd be really cool. 
So I'm just gonna go around exploring. This is a plan I, layout I haven't used in a while, so I'm not super like, actually familiar with this anymore. It was just the position. Oh, you guys are aggressive and just, you guys are perfect for attacking. But it's the position and space stage that I wanted because of like kind of where it is and who's nearby. And it's also the one with the uh, the purple spice that I set up a couple weeks ago. I'm almost dead. We can die in uh, cell stage, but I'm not going to die in creature stage. Oh, that guy pushed me into that guy. That's funny. No! Eat, please. Please don't die. Please eat. Let's kill this guy in time. Ooh! Sprint with one health into the nest. That was close. In your opinion, what's the easiest diet to be? Omnivore? Well, definitely omnivore, because you get options of both, so that's the easiest one. Uh, glad I can finally catch the stream. Yeah. Thanks so much for stopping by. Andreal38, thanks so much. And but we lived. That was close. No is no comeback. Hopefully we can still get a comeback on our own. Let's see, what else do we got here? These guys aren't as aggressive, so hopefully we can attack these guys without much of a problem. If we had the better strike, this wouldn't have been so much of a problem, but they have level 1 strike too. So we attack these guys. I've actually played Creature Stage on hard too much. <laughs> I feel like I'm much more experienced. Like, once we get past Creature Stage, uh, it's going to be much more smooth sailing, I feel. I'm not, like, I play Tribal through space so much more, which is kind of interesting. Okay, you need to eat something. Can you go find food and heal? That guy's scared. Why are you picking up bones? That's actually a good idea. I should probably start doing that more. But killing these alphas should be good. My guy died. My speed my speed runs for for um creature stage aren't the best either. But let's see if I can one on one this guy. Uh, let's see. Got spit also. Got him. And we're gonna head home right after this to p recruit some more people. Uh, let's not engage you. Let's just fly back home real fast. That's the uh, some of the flying techniques I explain in my creature stage glitches video. Want to do something like that? Let's get one of these guys. When's cat revealed? Oh, I can. Just Oops. Wrong, wrong button. I can show a picture of uh, Maggie a little bit later. But she's a calico and she's super nice. Uh, so I think we're gonna migrate, but you can still call a mate here. And you can. Uh, if I had oops, if I had the room, we could recruit another character. Oh, these guys should be easy, easy to attack. Oh, but they're a lot higher health. Anyone else on my level? Really nearby? Looks like no. We can just go for this guy. And this should bring us into the next level. Game went soft lock randomly. <laughs> Not called stuck. We demand to see the car or the cat. Uh, let's see. What can I do for y'all? Oh, they're all gonna attack me. Let's pull these guys back. Maybe we can show between um, stages. Once we get to a good moment here, that guy's gonna die. Okay, okay, okay. These guys should help. Now we all attack this guy. I want the charge. No. No. Thank you. And we upgrade and we get immediate health bonus. Health, health recharge. Uh, let's recruit a couple more guys and keep attacking them. So I wanted to show... Thanks for content. Thanks, uh, Ivern. Ivarn. Caught another stream. Thanks, Anders. Thanks for stopping by again. 
Uh, if there weren't another, char another character here, we could call a mate and then... So this guy is in mate mode, but we can hit the numbers on the keyboard and that will make... Oops. That will make them uh, want to join our pack. So we can still get like as many pack mates as we need. And because every time you call a mate, it just spawns up a new one. Which is pretty cool. Now we got three, which should be able to... Oops. Attack this guy. A lot easier. And go for those alphas. Going for fanatic. We're actually going for shaman. Uh, which I'll explain as we get to space stage more. It allows us the return ticket, which will allow us to become invincible later. The invincible spaceship. Tribal aggressive. Oh, we'll be um, social for tribal stage. Uh, let's see, I need like one more of these guys. Hopefully we don't run out of uh, characters. If the if your pack mates do too much damage, it doesn't actually give you the credit for destroying them. Oh wow, 308 viewers, that's incredible. Thank you all so much for for watching. Everybody all watching. Enjoying me fumble around creature stage. I promise once we get to travel stage, I, I'll perform a lot better as we go. But... This will just be the beginning, so now we have Strike 3, which should help us... Oh yeah, maybe I should have gotten more bones, <laughs> and I don't need any more of those. Yeah, I didn't really get many pieces, but Strike 3 was a good upgrade for our fighting. And I make sure we have to stay in the adaptable range, because I want the zippy. Yeah, definitely doing the ghost ship glitch, for sure. Yeah, we need more aggressive, but we got plenty of time. The tri the timeline reflects how, many how much DNA you receive. So the more DN so for every point moved on the progress bar moves the moves the timeline. It's not like based on actions. It's actually based on how much you acquire. If that makes sense. I'm gonna just like save just in case something ever goes wrong because I haven't saved yet in case anything crashes. I don't think you want to see me do trial cell stage again. Hopefully I get some backup as well. And that was a lot of damage. <laughs> the slowest charge ever, and that guy's probably dead. <laughs> That's fine, let's keep fighting. We should have fought easier people. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> I don't know if these guys have charge or anything. There we go. Got him. <laughs> Got him when I survived. Let's go to the next nest and bring back some friends. How about... Or find some people be easier. We got Sing 2. Who are these people? Sing 1. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's just... What was the super sprint method? I'm not very good at that one. It was something like pause, select the guy, sprint, double tap, unpause, forward, jump, escape, and then we go flying. There we go. Nope. No, I'm going the wrong way. I hit backwards. Oh, well, I'm going the back. I'm going backwards now. But that's essentially the idea of that one. But let's just do the regular one out of, out of the way. You can get some boost by doing some jumping and mating. Hopefully I come out of the way enough. And I find some non-aggressive people to walk through and I can migrate to the next nest, which is right up on this hill. Yeah, that technique takes a couple steps to do, but it can be pretty effective, but I hit backwards a bit too much. Okay, now we're very, very slowly making it through. Let's uh, recruit some more friends. and go back for our revenge, now that we've gotten a few of those. Oh, these guys are already like, way level up, but they might be able to be attacked later. Let's find some easier folk to attack. Strike 2, that's a bit scary, but it might be easier. 4s, let's pull you down here. You didn't have any charge, so I can pull you back and have my friends also charge with me. And we got some friends. Let's attack you. 
Uh, the baby isn't worth too much, so I think we'll... S Whoa, there. We'll spare the baby for now. If we need the extra kills, then we might kill the baby. Bug Staff of Life, I believe. Oh, there's a way to bug Staff of Life. There's a way to get more than just 42. I've never seen any glitches actually um, using the Staff of Life, because I think it's just used like anything else. I've actually not seen any way to get any kind of free Staff of Life, so that would actually be a really cool glitch if anyone had found something like that. That would be very interesting. Oh, that's the Rogue Squad. Rogue Squad! <laughs> Let's get the Rogue Squad. Let's rogue squad, put rogue squad first. These guys are out of three. And these guys are always worth 35 DNA, which are very good. And we can get more recruits from our friends who are about to die anyway. <laughs> there we go. Get that credit for this guy. There we go. So we got 35 points from the rogue squad. We're three out of five. Let's recruit someone else. Oh, so, never mind, we are going to attack more because we have the Meteorite event. Which should give us some time to attack these guys for free. Because they're going to be too distracted from the Meteorite. So we're going to take advantage of this opportunity. Attack a bit. Okay, they just got back aggressive, but we should win. Okay, now we're all a bit weak. Let's just fly over the top of this guy. They don't want to be spitting anything, so that should be safe to do. Yeah, I'll let the Grox have a freaking friend to go back to the, the chat. Playing too much. Yeah, the Grox says supposedly has 2400 systems, which is quite a lot, which is why this is going to take so long, which isn't why I'm worried about too much for the speed. A perfect speed run for this on hard would probably be like out of creature stage by now. But for a run that's taking 50 minutes, that's why I'm not too concerned. I'm more, more concerned with having a nice, relaxing stream for y'all to enjoy. That we can just kind of do all nice and casually. And that doesn't have any crashes is more important. And we have lots of points. Yeah, I want to send around the center of the, gal the, center of the galaxy. Yeah, exactly. We'll be putting a big hole through the center of the galaxy. I'm going to save just again. Let's go back to those Sing Wands. I don't know if you guys, these guys don't spit at me or something. And they're spitting at my friends, which is very rude. Hopefully my guys aren't dead. <laughs> Almost dead. Uh, these, guys, can you... these guys might still be too good for me. Sure, let's, let's attack you. Let's see if I can survive this. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Let's not have you strike me again. Have you get charged? And I'm done. Let's see. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Good, we didn't crash. That's a good, good sign. There's a. It's very high likelihood that the game crashes when you die in creature stage. But there is a, like unofficial patch that we use for speedruns that helps prevent um, crashes happening as much. Ooh, rogue. Let's get the rogue. I actually, I don't think we can get the rogue with what we have. I actually want to put more social parts on and come back for the rogue later. Let's attack someone like these guys. But good to know there's a rogue in the area. Oh, these guys are easy targets. Let's attack you. And we bite too. That should be easy. Yeah, F's in the chat for me dying in the future stage. But my clacking of pushing buttons isn't too loud. I'm just not really timing anything, it's just as soon as it's back, I just push all the buttons. Hey, hey, how about you... you look at me. Look at me. Save this guy. There we go. Heal slightly. Looking at the screen, see herbivore ability, or omnivore diet. How far out archetype are you going for? Uh, yeah, so we're going... yeah, thanks for helping in chat as well. Feel free to answer the questions as well. Uh, so we're going for shaman, but yeah, we were herbivore out of cell stage but we can still put both uh diet type mouths on our creature and we can still be omnivore anyway the like uh what we ability we get here is purely determined by how we exit cell stage on the timeline but our diet here is determined by what mouth we have on so it's a, be confusing 
Um, actually, we get more points. Interesting. We're so close to the upgrade, it will get more points. Hopefully, oh, yeah. Actually, good thing it knocked it out of position. Okay, hopefully it won't rise up. So, eggs are worth 25 points. Hope we can kill this in time. Uh, come on. Uh, oh, it's still there. Yes, it's still there. So we get the additional 25 points. So if we had killed, if we had eaten the egg first, that would have pushed us over the evolution point, which made this nest not worth as much to kill. To kill. So we wouldn't have gotten that 30 point bonus for the extinction bonus, but that way we can get the 30 point extinction bonus, then go back for the egg, which, uh, no, I need more social parts for you, which gives us more points total, I guess. Update for score for $5. <laughs> I'll pay for five dollars in a big sandwich. Yeah, it'd be cool if this was more like open source like that, available to. Um... Oops, I don't have the social parts open. To make forks and of and make more updates available. Hopefully, we got more feet because soul feet in tribal stage actually is kind of a bit of a problem. So, what feet did we get any good feet? Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Feet are very important for tribal stage. So yeah, I just want to put some charm on. And we got pose, charm, and dance. What's a good dance fit? So now we are going to asymmetric. The feet. Uh, we have any better sing while we are at it. Bite four, sing two. Let's see. Sing... Uh, let's see. That's probably the best one. Let's rip this guy off. Do a bit of a Squidward nose. Y'all want to see some Squidward nose for, um, for, um, soul stage? For the... I might just hide this. Put it back on later, because I like the view of that better. Double mouth. This guy has two mouths. <laughs> let's put this somewhere else, just because once I get rid of it, I can't uh, find it again, so we're going to do this for the rogue, and I'm going to put the other mouth back on, but we're going to- I want better sing just for the, uh, for the rogue. Can't eat meat now? Oh, good point. Okay, that was actually- if that was an herbivore only mouth- oh yeah, the- the mouths that we have- that looks funny. Uh, it was determined by our cell stage exit, so yeah, it's actually good we kept the mouths, I'm just going to put it somewhere on the table, would have been good. So we can keep being an omnivore, but I want this rogue we can ally with uh, fairly easily. Hey, slow down there. We can kind of gain some speed like this. With four characters, that's an easy 100 points. And sure. Try... 100 points. I'm going to save and recruit this guy into my pack. I just want to see if this is still possible with three characters, because this guy should be much more powerful. Uh, we have the Siren Song anyway, so that should be easy. Recruit this guy. And he should help us be able to fight a lot better, anyway, with a lot more health. Did you remove the filter mounts? Oh yeah, I kind of like the whiskers a little bit, though. I kind of was treated them like whiskers. Are we in the adaptable range? Oh, we're good. But we do, we went up 100 points worth because we allied that, but that was worth it to kind of pass the timeline a little quicker. Next time we uh, go into a, he's returning home. I'm not gonna fight you guys. Next time we go into an editor, I'm just gonna put the mouth back. I'm getting rid of the Squidward mouth. <laughs> uh, if you were to stay very long creature stage, unlock all the feet with uh, lock other hands, I think, Possibly. It usually tries to do it like in line, like whatever you have. Oh, look at that guy, just destroyed. Uh, yeah, like it tries to like do an evolutionary line, but I think it should eventually start giving you other things, but I'm not 100% sure actually. But I was thinking of doing like a 100% run one day when we try to get everything. Did this guy died. Yeah. We all survive. Now we're finally cleaning this stuff up. But I wonder what like something like this would give me. Charm three. Uh, Seventeen attack. That's too much. Let's just avoid those guys. Skeletons won't give anything. 
13. Let's find some easier. Well, you asked for it. <laughs> Hopefully we get some help. Help, boys. Oh, the spaceship's here. Oh, perfect. Now we got plenty of free time to attack these guys, and they won't attack us. Our pack is actually not affected by the spaceship, but they all the other um, wild creatures are. So all this attacking time is completely, completely for free. You don't have to worry about anything as long as the spaceship kind of stays uh, above above us. But sometimes if it's too far away, yikes. Uh, it, the spaceship tries to follow us around. It should be... It should be scaring them. Yeah, now they're scared again. Just this guy again. If it's directly above. It's not like for the entire... Uh, like, sequence. It's just while it's overhead. So let's take this opportunity to heal for free. I hope you can use... Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Tropical. Glad you're enjoying the stream. I don't know if this guy is, hopefully he just doesn't just... Oh, oh, well that guy's gone. <laughs> that spaceship is still here. That guy would have been some good, easy DNA points, but... Game decided, no thanks for you. Let's get some attacking damage on this guy, while we still have the opportunity. This guy won't attack me. That's a baby, but if we don't have a seventh one, there is a seventh one. Hopefully y'all uh, save me. Ah! No 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 no. Can someone attack, please? If I move away, they kind of try to follow me. Nice. That's one migration away. So let's just trigger the migration, and we can just basically go to the end from here. I'm gonna save as well. I'm 100%, guys. Skeleton, stop giving anything. If, does it will it allow you to get everything or is it is a 100% not a possible unless I have basically the front line of everything so I go down and I get eventually everything across but if I don't have everything can I not get uh, everything I wonder wow for over 400 people watching thanks so much again for everyone watching it means a lot uh, we're going to trigger the migration. Well, I guess we did actually trigger the migration sequence, but all we have to do is get to the migration sequence. That should be 50 points or very, very close. Um, let's just get out of here. And hopefully we all survive. The rogues should definitely survive. But the... You can spawn. But our nest is not too far from here. First philosophy with scientists. Nice. I think my very first one was Warrior. I just like murder hobo hood my way all the way through, like when my first game's playing. There, there we go. That's creature stage finished. And we are on the coastline, which is also good. I'm going to save. So what you can do is when you save in Spore, your galaxy file is actually saved in your roaming file uh, in on Windows, and I'm actually going to copy that file right now and put it in a different folder So we have this basically as a forever checkpoint. I'm just gonna call it creature end On stream So if anything happens in creatures in tribal stage or anything we can always return back to this exact moment and uh, uh, To that save So that was my last chance to make anything good. So is this is actually happening. Yes, I'm, I'm really excited too. Sorry, Squidward knows. We're gonna put this one back on because I want. I, want, I like. I just kind of like the the cute little look of this. You're gonna be looking at this guy in space stage. I know. I just kind of like it, what it looks like. It looks kind of cool. Let's see. We're gonna look at this guy for 50 hours. I'm gonna put. We can put some uh, Shrek ears on him, but I kind of like the whiskers. Reminds me of my cat a little bit. Hopefully that looks cool enough. Maybe, uh, maybe we'll put like a tribal stage thing on the chest plate or something. Is there a ban? Yeah, if you have, if you're online, you can uh, have content from other people. And of course, if someone makes something that doesn't look very uh, pleasant, you can ban it out of your game because they kind of just download stuff randomly. All right, I'm gonna call that good. Well, I will be the first to admit, not the. Oh. Not, no, I, I was actually the last one. Advanced to travel stage. Uh, best uh, creature creator. But we, I got, what have I got? Are we semi-tribes feet? Oh, I think it was fine. We actually use it in creature stage. So 
I think it was fun. Beat Creature Stays. Still beat within an hour. We are uh, Speed Demon. So we're going to go green, blue, green, green, and that will give us Shaman. All over into Jump Stage. I think it's kind of funny with the asymmetric feet. Because we don't really have that in real life other than being Chiral. But I like... Oh, we still have a chance. I still could, but it'll you know, make it a bit bigger just to make it match a bit better. Can I shrink the, f the legs so it's the same size? Would make the feet about the same size? About, about that. Yeah, cool. Why do you point the feet out? I'm gonna, I'll be I'm cool with that. There's our creature in cat reveal. Uh, there's actually, I showed some pictures of her last stream uh, I'm gonna click off stream off the video for a second because I need to not have the audio play. Uh, so if you look at the end of the last stream, I should see some cat pictures, but I will show some more later if uh, y'all want as well. I also got a picture of my dog Daisy on my desktop so we can show her as well. Valence, thanks, Lucas. Oh, thanks for stopping by again. You're a recognizable name. Thanks for stopping by for the third stream. And the broad shoulders. <laughs> yeah, it's just like default. Yeah, I didn't want really to think about it too much. So we are still um, omnivores, so we're just going to basically get some plants. We got our rogue in our pack, and we are going to use all again all the glitches I can by doing the infinite baby glitch. So if you change the graphics effects after the baby is spawned, but before the egg laying animation finishes, it restarts the egg laying animation and lets you get another egg for free. You can technically keep going. Wonder if anyone, if in case anyone wondering, you do get another egg, but no baby will uh, come out of the the egg, and you actually like technically in, can infinitely keep going. I'll show up for every stream at this point. Nice. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad the stream is is entertaining enough for you to to watch as well. That's yeah, much appreciated. But I'm going to add to our creature with some tribal equipment. Maybe add something on the chest plate to make it a little better. But I'm used to just kind of throwing this on it. <laughs> like the social and the gathering tools. It's like on a speedrun, just like wherever. But I need to make this a little bit better. Or just get rid of it by the time the uh, uh, creature stage, or tribal stage ends. Maybe, maybe it looked like a chef's hat or something. It'd be kind of funny. Yeah, y'all want to look at this first pace stage? Can you color these? I'm not actually even sure if you color these. Oh, that's the color we'll get? Okay, that's fine. We're not we're not quite done yet, so we can still change it later. It's one of the one glitches, you know? There's a lot of glitches in this game, and there's a couple videos I have out showing showcasing them all, if you wanted to check them out. They're, they make this game so much better. It makes it so much easier to play. And you'll see how travel stage... Hopefully, and hopefully it won't crash, because this is the position where it like, always crashes. That's why my older videos, uh, I always save so much. But I use a different planet, I guess, planet layout. It doesn't crash as much on those, but hopefully we don't get a crash today. Can color the outfit? Okay. I'm just all about those defaults. <laughs> Default power. And we are going to... Get our wooden horns. There's also another glitch coming up with the instruments you might be able to see. Someone who said they didn't know any other glitches. Oh, thanks for defending me. Uh, not eating our food. So we can uh, not have to unlock any more instruments. Let's go let's see. So someone's enjoying this game this day? Yeah, this is one of my favorite games. I've played the like, third most hours of a game that I've played. Uh, they'll be able to gather eight po eight points once they uh, start doing it with the tribal equipment. Yeah, one of my favorite games. I'm glad glad y'all want to watch this game as well. That's really appreciated. I really enjoy having all of you here. Uh, you guys need to keep uh, gathering. What are y'all doing? What is this? You on vacation? Get back to work. I'm gonna gather a bunch of food, and then we'll be able to uh, start allying around. I want to make sure to have plenty of food so nothing can go wrong for tribal stage. Destroy the Grox on hard. Took about an hour to destroy. Cluster of Grox, 24 second range. So hopefully he'll go, go more smoothly. Wish there was a Spore sequel. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. But it makes it easier for me to make videos on just one thing. But, but it would be cool to make, have more games. Who are you? I want you to, just before anything goes wrong, let's have you gift that guy. 
Okay, you are gonna start gaining instruments. Yeah, we'll be the uh, the invincible spaceship, so hopefully it'll make destroying the Grox on hard a little bit easier. Yeah, but that should be plenty of food. I need one guy to defend. Oh, it's this... This song gets copyright claimed. Are you stuck? Don't be stuck. Come on. Give the gift. How about it's up to you. you? You might be too busy. There we go. So that's also why in my originally I like to always just gift the the main food source because the travel AI is so bad that sometimes they just feel like getting stuck. So that's always been more consistent to gift the food pile. But if you gift them directly, the they don't get mad anymore. They don't reduce their relationship with you. So it makes it a lot easier. Uh, who are you? Let's have you get instrument and have one of you defend the food pile. Okay, so have you, 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 you. Go over here, and we are going to now ally with you. Got to go. Oh, thanks for stopping by, uh, B, B Shack. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. Hope to see you later. What distraction tactic are you going for? No oh, distraction tactic. Oh, we we're going to ally the um, everyone for this run. And you're gonna defend the food so no wild animals show up, but there should be plenty. Yeah, look at this. Look at look at this quality AI right here. <laughs> it's just gets stuck in the in the in trying to ally. But we are now good to go. We should go to ally. Oh, 541. Thanks everyone again for watching. That's amazing. This this is an incredible stream. This is more than I could have even asked for. This is quite amazing. Glad you're all enjoying the stream. We're dealing through a bit of travel stage. Much more comfortable in travel stage compared to the cell stage in the, in the creature stage. But there's a glitch coming up that we're about to perform. As soon as we reach the green smiley face, we are going to make it so we are going to save and quit so we don't unlock any more instruments. We're going to save. Immediately right click the ground. So this saves and then. Uh, deselects the tribe right basically at the same time or right after the save we're going to then quit without saving and then reload back up the game all right spider spider no travel is attacking yeah can't walk a foot without getting stuck yet so this has the effect of not unlocking any more instruments and we are just basically good to go to ally the next tribe uh see so we don't have anything unlocked so we can just go to the next one. Uh, let's just have you gift. I don't know, just gift right to the food pile. Hopefully there's no epics or anything coming over. And with... Wait a minute. Is that how that works? I think... Did I just mess, mess it up? I'm not sure if you can actually ally these... Uh, oh, what was the rule on hard? You might have had to have actually uh, allowed the first one to go through. This might be... S is this stuck? I'm not actually sure. I don't remember. This might be stuck. Spore free. Oh, no, it costs like seven bucks on good old games and Steam when it's on sale. I think I mis messed this up. I, I don't... I'm actually a little worried. I don't think this works. Y'all can see that... I should have actually allowed the first one to ally. I don't know if it's gonna reach. I'm gonna have to find someone by themselves. Can this work? I don't know if it works. Three? I don't. Four? Five? It doesn't work. Okay, um. I wanna try some experiments on the fly. I want to see, can I do it with, maybe with the other character coming as well? I think I'm pretty sure I tried this before, where, hey, get it, stealing. Do we have to attack one of these fools? Uh, I want to get them by themselves. Let's draw them out. Are you going the wrong way? Where are you going? What's up, you? 
recruit you by yourself. Is this not possible? If I mess this up, glad I got that checkpoint at the end of travel stage because I might have to go back in time. A raider spotted. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah, as I say, I'm more comfortable with travel stage, but I completely just messed this up. I don't know. Because heart is really picky. I don't think it's possible, actually. Three. Four. <gasps> yes! It is possible! <laughs> but they're attacking. Whatever, that doesn't even matter. Hopefully I got that on, in time. It is possible. I actually thought I was screwed, but I'm getting attacked, but whatever. Getting attacked doesn't matter in travel stage. Hopefully I can get out of it. Uh, okay, let's just have the chieftain run on over to gift that guy. But I might as well just have one of y'all gift over here. Yeah, this is definitely on hard difficulty. Oh wow, I'm glad I didn't, didn't lose. Okay, they're attacking, but they'll get the radio call to stop attacking. So they'll, they'll just stop. And then you and y'all. Where'd the rest of y'all go? Y'all and you <laughs> can attack these guys who were attacking me earlier. Oh, the rogue is still there. Whatever, your, your sacrifice, you have a, <laughs> you, you will sacrifice yourself so we can continue the run. Whew, I was a little worried about that. For a second. I'm like all completely out of sorts because I thought it was screwed. But I think I should have once again allowed it to go through. I'm not that thinking clearly here. I should have allowed that to go through. I need more more instrument players. Why well, am I doing this? Doing this incorrectly again. Okay, let's I need one person by themselves. I need you all to separate. Sport channel. Oh, okay. <laughs> Checking up on chat. Sorry, guys. Um, uh, I might have to put more equipment on. Get flustered. But we'll be fine. I need one person by themselves to. Let's see if I can do it with two. I need to allow the save to go through. I'm so instinctually uh, trained to do that uh, glitch. Hopefully, this will this um still works. I'm gonna have to get one again. Or we have to go back back in time then. Two, three. I might need by itself. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, yes, okay. Allow it to go through like normal, please. It is still possible, but I want to make this just a bit easier for myself. Ooh, this is why I practice. <laughs> and then, uh, so these guys are here. I need a bit of food. I'm gonna have the chieftain gather real quick but this is not a tribal stage like it looks really like uh intimidating but like if you know it well enough it's not too scary anymore at least with enough glitches and enough uh hope <laughs> to make it through more like devolve i'll explore okay so i need a bit of food so i can make a bit more babies to make this go a bit smoother but with the level three uh, social equipment, it makes it really hard, as you see, to ally. With the level 5 social gear, like we do in this in the um, this travel stage speedrun, because we can start a travel stage speedrun with whatever equipment we want for that, as long as we don't start with a, an ability. Let's just do even more. Uh, we can ally much, much easier than compared to level 3 equipment. But I'm going to have to do a lot more food. Because I need all the instruments now. But we can get enough babies to fill out the entire thing. And one more. And it looks like the uh, gift has been placed. There we go. Now they're uh, neutral. And I like putting, I like having the graphics cache on the, the medium. So I'm just gonna do that. Even though we're not gonna get an additional baby, even though it's gonna make another egg. 
and we need more instruments. We need the didgeridoos. They're only going to be able to ask for what we have. So normally at this point you would probably have three instruments, but uh, we we only need the didgeridoos as well, and then we'll be able to ally these guys like no problem. Ooh, and someone is a sworn enemy, probably because we took too long. Yeah, you're gonna try to steal food, and that's gonna be like a bit of a problem. What? Where'd my baby go? That was a baby. How'd that happen? <laughs> Where'd my baby go? How long do you usually take? Uh, like a strictly speed run, probably like 50 minutes, but allowing to do a lot more like resets. He's gonna steal. He's not probably not gonna make it out alive. Can you guys just just let him go? It's fine. Need more more food. Oh, you're talking about like the whole for Al um, sorry for Al for destroying the whole Grox Empire. Yeah, it's probably gonna take like 50 hours, which is why I'm not too concerned. They're already an hour in. It's gonna take so long to ally them. This the time save from these first parts won't matter too much. But we are going to need another 10 to make these guys allied again or neutral again. So this guy is going to capture just a bit more food. Oh, you're actually. I just need like one. Place that down, we should be good to go. Let's get you with wind horns. The baby died of neglect. It must have been. Maybe it. I don't know where did it die from. Maybe a um. One of the wild animals coming to steal our food. Got it. When I wasn't watching. Okay, you're. You need to eat. But everyone else. Can come over here, and then the chieftain is going to just gift the food pile because we're going to be able to ally them pretty quickly. We won't need the infinite node, um, infinite ambivalency that the gifting a direct member will give because we're just going to ally them directly, and we should be able to uh, do the glitch again and not need any more instruments. From it. it should be a lot easier. They're running, but it's fine. I need the chieftain. Yeah, they, they will attack in about two minutes once they became my sworn enemy. That's why I knew I had plenty of time. That's gonna take way too long, yeah. It did, it did spawn. I don't know. Or enough? What am I what am I saying? Half asleep when I forgot. Oh, I'm not paying attention to the instruments I'm buttons I'm pressing. I need to pay a little bit more attention. I'm gonna go back to the stream. Common internet guy, thanks for stopping by. Trying to catch up on chat after me recovering this travel stage. But thanks everyone for watching and coming along with me as I figured this out. You actually saw something I didn't know. You saw me learn in real time how travel stage can work with uh, only six instrument players, but three uh, social gear can still make them allied if you ally just one or two of them. Because the more instrument players they have available, the um, the more you have to match. And on hard, it doesn't really care about how few there are. If that makes sense. So now we can do the glitch no prob. Well, we don't unlock any more instruments. We should be able to ally the last group like just fine with this. So like if there's four instrument players you're playing for, they can ask for four instruments. And if you don't have the four, they, they won't give you as much uh, progress towards the progress bar and you might not make it. But with, uh, who's the guy who's not here? Everyone but you. Go up here. But on hard, it like, really doesn't matter about how many people you're playing for. Like if you're playing against one or four, it's like the same. But if you're playing with just, but it's slightly less for each person you're not playing for. So that's how one or two people was able to fill the progress bar when the whole, like playing for the entire tribe, uh, wasn't able to make it to the green smiley face. From its world. Oh yeah, it's world was the original person to show me the ba the the baby clones glitch. Thanks for that long time ago. That has really made these runs a lot easier. I made sure to always credit you in those first few videos where we uh, we used the glitch. It was pretty cool. There we go. It's blue. I suddenly feel the urge to make a song with the largest silly ever. Yeah. Okay. Why doesn't it start with um, omnivore cells? Probably be too, bit, too good. So with three made us more progress. Three, and that should be able to make it no problem. 
All right, we made it through tribal stage. I'm gonna save and do a little bit of outfitting before we go, just to make sure I'm happy with what we have on our character. Travels down to great stage. Not too hot of a take, but I kind of agree. But at least they made it a little bit easier, but you can see how to get out of a bit of a jam. Maybe something on chest plate, make it a little less boring on the front. About like that. Something like this. A little less boring for a uh, space stage. Looks kind of cool. Kind of looks like a chef. Kind of looks like a little apron on. And a uh, chef's hat. Looks kind of cool. Let me shrink this. Let me shrink it a bit. There we go. That's the extent of my uh, creature building abilities. It's beautiful. Thanks. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that. Make this poke out a little bit. I don't really like it when it clips into the body. So if it's moving around in space stage, I'm not gonna like it too much. But there we go. You're gonna be looking at that in the communication panel for hours. Sat I'm satisfied. There we go. And I'm going to save just like we did in the last time. Now we're cooking. Yeah, we're cooking with the, the creatures. So just like in the end of creature stage, in case anything went wrong, which it almost did in tribal stage, I'm going to once again save the app data roaming file folder for the galaxy file and put it somewhere else. So we can always return to this point in case anything happens. I'm going to call this tribal end string. Just in case anything goes wrong. But thankfully it didn't even crash, so I'm pretty happy. And beat tribal stage on hard settings. And yep, we ended tribal stage as friendly. So we got green, blue, green, and we're going to go for religious as well. And beat it less than an hour. So according to the game, we're actually speeding quite along. Actually look kind of cute. Yeah, I was kind of like going for that. I like the cell eyes to look a bit cute, which is kind of what I was going for. And because I have no building skills, I'm going to use a default building. And gets us to move along a little quickly. But for the... Tank, we need one, one, two, three, four, five, six. And that will give us the 45 vehicle speed uh, as the fastest tank. Yep, this is actually the fastest tank we can make. Arcology. No, uh, let's just call it 45 speed. And that's our tank. You missed for the suffering and travel stage. <laughs> yeah. Concern, hamster. Thanks for stopping by as well. Then we're going into space stage. In space stage, the top hat. I wonder if I can still remove the tribal outfitting gear once we get into uh, space stage. I'm not really sure how that goes. So here, I'm going to kind of check out the other locations. Looks like we got some up there. Look out for that epic, and we're going to. That looks like a good spot. We want to make sure we capture as many spice geysers as possible for the other ones spawn. So we want to go over here really quickly. Let's go here, let's make another vehicle, let's go up here and get that give a head start and we'll make another one right here. And we got it in time, perfect. And now we're gonna go down here, avoid that epic as well. By coming down here, got that. Uh, whoa, he, he totally didn't see. I totally lucked out there. I did not drive that carefully at all. And now we are going to Make a. I'm just gonna use the default fastest boat. That'd be fine. It's plenty fast for our purposes here. And I'm going to get this guy. Um, avoid this epic. And get this spice geyser. And collect some more. More tribes. Uh, this guy's almost done. This guy's done. Let's have you over here. Oh, nice. We got another religious vehicle. Let's pull you back. Pull you back. You are good to go. Let's have you come back over here. Now we can place some buildings. Sorry, I'm neglecting chat real quick. You just say sector creature. Yeah. So I can still uh, edit it from here. Like I can still edit the like tribal pieces. That's kind of interesting. It's pretty cool. I'm going to use the default building still. The <laughs> voice of the religious vehicles. This is unnerving. Yeah, this sounds a bit, a bit odd. I like the military one the most, like the risk nerve one. I think that one's always pretty funny. There we go. Keep it. Make sure to keep it smiley. Keep it happy in here, so we can have the possibility of a, of them celebrating and giving us increased income. Now let's pull all of our vehicles back before this guy gets their attention. Uh, those guys are under attack. Too bad for them. Let's see what we got. We got a religious guy, got a military guy, we got 
more villages, guys. Let's pull you back home. And we're going to build up our our city as we while we wait. I want to make sure we have plenty of income. Ooh, and we're celebrating, getting lots of money. Kind of the first... That's fine for now. The first step is to acquire uh, all the spice geysers and then acquire all... Build out the full building, the full city, and then we will kind of scope out how everyone else is doing. Um, and go for a religious capture. I probably shouldn't have looked at them because then they are going to be attacking. Almost there on the city. Forgot the best layout of this one. I have like pictures of all of the best layouts. I think it's something like... I don't remember. It's not that. It's pretty close to that. No, it's not it. I think it's like... There it is. 9600 and a green smile. That's the right layout for that. They all have like the best layout. Time, time to talk about Jesus. Yeah, hope these guys are actually a bit strong. That actually worries me a bit. I might... Hmm... I wonder what they're gonna do. That's actually a huge army. They're not gonna do anything right away, I don't think. Mm, that's actually pretty unnerving. Let me see if I can just pay them. Make them go over here. Oh, they're not, like, allied with me, so I can't pay them to make them go away. Yeah, they're going to attack me. I'm going to them not attack me. I'm going to attack their main city. They left it open. And I'm going to return to this and make them max power. Horn Saver Spode. You have a chance to talk about Spode? Okay, so now they're coming to defend. Hopefully we attack pretty quick. I need to defend this. Oh, uh, that's pretty slow. Um, probably not the best start for this because they're going to start attacking my people. And that's a pretty powerful army. But I want these guys eliminated because of the size of their army and because of the tank the tank army. It might take a couple waves, but I think we'll be fine. I think it'll work eventually. <laughs> I can use this. 2,000's not very much money. There we go, full full health. Pretty sure I gave some fish probably mechanic. Yep, maybe likely. I, it's like kind of a combo of a lot of people's... Uh, ideas as well but this is kind of something i've always really wanted to do but never really had the opportunity but yeah probably thanks uh, but thanks for the the i uh, suggested if, if it was as well so yeah thanks and everyone else is who was given ideas oh i lost a building quite rude let's put it back Can, I, can you capture it quickly? I'm gonna have to send another wave. Nice! We got it, Irreligious. Now it's all mine! What layout is this? I think it's the same layout. So I can put that here, and that here, and this here, and... Here, and here, and here. 4400 with a green smiley face. That's great. Dang, why people got upset with that. And I want... Probably a bit overkill, but I want yellow eliminated pretty quickly here. Oh, uh, oh, you were talking to someone else. We asked them what they were talking about. Sorry, I'm not keeping up so perfectly with chat. How do we get delayed with that? Let's go back to capturing with the most powerful tank. Uh, they are almost done capturing this. We're almost there. Wow, over 700 people watching. That's incredible. I want to thank you all so much for watching as well. And we just captured our second city from an eliminated yellow. And we can go back to powerful tanks and probably start attacking orange, just kind of methodically here. Now let's avoid that epic. 
Yeah, thanks for everyone for their ideas and suggestions throughout all my runs. I try to credit as much as possible because I really feel like that's really important for who gave me certain ideas for what. But this was definitely my like most requested video as well, so I'm glad that y'all are excited to watch and sticking around. It makes the stream so much more fun seeing y'all want to interact. You planning on changing your philosophy as Zealot in Space Days? Yes, uh, I will be doing the split personality badge because we were also going to try to get the every badges as well. Every badge as well? With, um, along with the Destroy the Grox because Destroying the Grox is one of those secret um, badges. So we're going to ally the Grox and destroy the Grox and try to get everyone else. All the other badges as well, which includes changing the philosophy. We're going to start trying to change philosophy to Zealot to try to... I wanted to try to compare how fast capturing a Grox city is, or Grox planet is with the Fanatical Frenzy compared to using like, just like the laser or like bombs or the, or the volcano as well. Because there's a lot of different ways to destroy a Grox, Grox cities. So I wanted to see and calculate the best way to do it. And this kind of first run through, I think would be a great way to, to do that. Uh, now this is just on YouTube. It's a YouTube exclusive. I have best audience best yeah the biggest audience and best audience for from youtube so i'm glad that youtube streaming is working so just be on youtube for here i have stream on twitch before occasionally but it's been really hard to break out on twitch i've only done it you know a few times though but i'm glad i've been able to work up the audience with all the regular videos there is the video where is the city now we have our points with all the regular videos to have such a great stream uh we can talk to these guys so we can have such a yeah, great stream with all of y'all here on on YouTube. I feel like YouTube is where all the streams are going to be headed anyway. These guys are a small city. They should be able to get taken over pretty quickly. Yeah, look at that. Orange. So, so Orange wasn't able to attack this because there was a glitch about if I don't look at the defending city, they won't be able to attack it for some reason. But now we can because we looked at the city. It's kind of a strange glitch, but it's... I was using it to my advantage basically that whole time to prevent Orange from attacking, the, from claiming the city and make it a bit easier for me. And I'm going to attack this small city. It should be pretty easy, even though it has a lot of defense. Oops, I need to make these guys fast. Even though it has a lot of defending tanks, it should be quite quick, quite, quite quick to capture because it has not very many buildings. And then we'll be able to use the Fanatical Uprising and basically finish the level pretty quickly. What a crazy project I'm to see. Yeah, I'm really excited. This should be pretty fun. I don't think they're going to be able to attack or to defend their city in time before we attack, capture them. But we'll see. You can still have three more useless tanks. Oh yeah. It's almost done. Oh, they're trying to attack me way down here. Too bad they won't get the chance. There we go. Religious. And basically there. And there's the Fanatical Uprising. We, we win. That's all it takes to win Civilization Stage. You get six cities, 48,000, and you win. So as long as they capture, I capture all of them before they capture me, it will be finished Civilization Stage, and that probably took like 10 minutes. <laughs> Civilization Stage is definitely one of my, one of my favorite ones. I find it pretty fun to do. Yep, beat civilization is on hard difficulty. And look at all of our our cities. We just we just like <laughs> we still on sub stage. And we're about buying an aircraft. So since this is going to be a pretty long, a pretty long series, I want to make sure. Excuse me, that all of our cities are pretty much equipped. In a speed run, I like really wouldn't care, but we're going to try to make some money from this place while we can. So I'm going to fill them all out. Just make sure everything is good here. What layout is this? Oh, it's the same one as earlier. Just put... The, the AI just can't do city layouts at all. I gotta fix it up for them. There we go, and there we go. That's good. Let me make sure that's the best I can make there. No, and I can... I see three whites to white locations. Oh, I don't think I was actually doing that in the other one. I could have made it 48. Let's see, was I, can I make this 48? There we go, 48. 
and could have made it even better. White connections. Oh, I had 48 the first time. I didn't make it the other times. There we go. You can see we get the best uh, setup for these. That the AI just can't seem to fill these out properly. Do something about like that. There we go. Oops, skipped one. Let's just focus. Yeah, I'm not so good. Yeah, I'm trying to read all the comments as best as I, best I can. I'm, I'm really thankful for y'all uh, answering questions as well while I'm focusing. Really appreciate it. Appreciate it. And we're almost done with the city layouts. This one is a different one. I believe it's two entertainments in this location. I want to sell as few as possible because you only get half price for when you sell stuff. Is it two, one too many? Looks like I can replace that with a city for the same. There we go. The house. Almost there. And oh, we got a military city. Should make a Discord server. Oh, interesting. I might be able to make a Discord server. I'm not that great at like moderating it. I'm not on that much. Uh, so if we find someone who finds some good moderators, it could be some. It could do something like that. Thirty-six hundred military cities don't have as good of a layout. And I think we're all the way around. I mean, Valent City, my city. I'm gonna do the same thing where we save once we finish the stage so we can go back to this point in case anything ever happens. We have a checkpoint forever. Go back to roaming, copy the galaxy file and put it into our works in progress. But I am pretty responsive on the Spore speedrunning discord. If you just keep it like Spore related, I'm like, I'm happy to answer questions there as well, but we can possibly make like a, a this stream kind of discord as well. But yeah, I feel like I've been almost like moderating that Discord for so long, almost like moderated out. So if we find some moderators willing to do that, that'd be much appreciated if we can do a Discord, since it'll be much more like uh, my responsibility being like uh, my channel Discord compared to like the Spore Discord. So there we go, we got green, blue, green, green to get Shaman for the return ticket. And that's That was our goal, it took an hour and 20 minutes to get there. But now we are going on into Space Stage where it's gonna get even more exciting because we can start working towards destroying the Grox. There's a bit of setup we have to do before. I'm just going to use a default spaceship, the one I always like using. But now I'm going to click off so we don't hear the music. Hi, because the Spore is speedrun Discord server. I think it has like two or three hundred people. Uh, not too, it's not too active as well. So you'll your your comments would probably be seen. But yeah, definitely keep it Spore related. This is the, dis the speedrunning Discord. If you can. So here's our purple spice. This is why this system is so good. This purple spice is always here, You're playing as a shaman. You're just time for space stage. Yo, welcome to the stream. I want to make sure I don't hit return ticket like I kept doing those other streams. Clicking on the spaceship, of course, is faster. Could keep the channel more alive. But for this channel as well. That'd be cool to interact with y'all. Uh, even more. I can't promise I'd be on there every day though. Because I'm just not on the Discord too much. We have to keep it a bit separated as is sometimes. So we're going to use the frequent flyer. Uh use frequent flyer glitch where we went where the not really glitch, but the exploit about this this, this um first mission doesn't use energy. So we're gonna go all the way to frequent flyer two, is that's what we need to get to the center of the galaxy. There's frequent fire too. This is pretty standard speedrun stuff. Yeah, purple spice. Yeah, look at the creature. Yeah, try to make him a little cute looking. That's gonna be the creature we're gonna be looking at for a long time. So hopefully, I made it good looking. Spore good. Yeah, I like spore. Have we seen the knockoffs this fell stage? Yeah. Well, I feel like there's knockoffs because they want to imitate what, how good spore is, but they couldn't quite get it. So another one of those weird flick. Uh. Another interesting glitch I wanted to show was when on this screen, I'm pretty sure it's this screen, we can save on this menu. We can quit out. And then we're going to load back in. And that will give us a second mission for for place a colony. Because I wanted to really emphasize how many glitches I'm using for, for the space stage. So, but also when we get the colony, I can save again and we can get as many colonies as we want. 
So if, if you interrupt the um, the colony mission briefing and you save and quit on the message where we receive the colony and you quit out and you load back in, it keeps returning into the message where we receive the colony and gives us a. An... Oh, I was it was too late. Oh, that may have been because of the extra mission. So we have like two colony missions and we're going to keep saving on the message where we receive the colony to get more colonies for free. Yeah, the security guards just go up and give away. Yeah, it's very funny. They just give away. So yeah, like we got three and now we can just save again, quit out and then load back in and we will get keep getting colonies. So you can go all the way up to 99. I'll probably stop around after a few more, but I wanted to show that off, which is pretty cool because I wanted to emphasize how many glitches I'm using for this run. So maybe we might use, do like a no glitch version of this run in the future after we uh, destroyed the Grox the first time to see how kind of how hard it is and maybe do like a no glitches 100% run, like the ultimate way to beat this game. Because today, or for this run, I'm doing any glitch I can think of just because it's the first time I've ever done something like destroyed the Grox, something this insane. Yeah, you guys just stop yelling at me. Yeah. Keep yelling at me. Uh, and the main glitch is the invincible spaceship glitch, which we'll be getting pretty soon. Uh, once we get enough colonies and a bit, a bit more money. But I think I think six is probably a good good place to start. So you look up here. Place a colony, place a colony. We have two independent place mission colonies. Oh, we got another one. And we had another one pending because of how many saves we did. So we have two missions. I'm going to place it on our, our moon. Just need the one. And that will complete both missions at the same time because both of them will be satisfied. So you have like two check marks. And we can even see in like the Missionista. There's Missionista. Yeah, so you have one out of five for doing the scan the destroyed Sidious mission. But when we go back here, uh, we will see that two will be complete. So we'll be up to three. So it's pretty cool. The next one we're going to do. Oh wait, I gotta, I gotta basically cancel out of both of the missions. But what I want to do is the expand our empire to get the terraforming mission. And basically, it's the same idea as we can save when we receive the terraforming tools, quit out, and go back in, and that interrupts the mission briefing, so we can get even more uh, terraforming tools, which is pretty cool, and it will help us get more money more quickly. And I'm gonna do this a couple times to show this can basically be done infinitely. Gotta go. Oh, thanks for stopping by, Beverly Stockmer. Glad you. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope you enjoyed. Hope I see you again in the future. Invincibility ship. Yeah, it, I'm pretty sure it works forever. The invincibility spaceship. I don't think there's any. I don't think it ever goes away. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I've tried that. Sure, I've confirmed that the spaceship doesn't go. Uh, go away it's like impossible to get rid of it i think it's like once it's like absolutely permanent this uh thanks metallic thanks for answering the question invincibility is uh permanent but there is some kind of weird thing that like you can't click on like the sporpedia button that's like the only difference like ever that i've been able to find it's like that button doesn't work anymore once you become the invincible spaceship i think four is probably good good start here i remember someone a while ago asked me about that that there was a problem i couldn't really find a way around that ow Took five damage out of 300. I've got like no health. So now we can play some. I'll place a couple atmosphere generators. Truckman679, adios. Thanks for stopping by. And you thanks for stopping by the stream. Much appreciated. So we are going to start setting up some money so we can give the Grox like a, uh, a bribe when we arrive. And we're going to make a bit of bit of money here, and then we're going to get used to go ship glitch and then go to the center of the galaxy. So it's not going to take too much longer to uh, to get onto the Grox. <laughs> In case anyone was wondering, what am I doing here? I just kind of wanted to set this up first because all of that colony mission stuff has to be has to be done first. So it's a good opportunity to do this. There's a bit of setup. Metallic, you probably you probably asked me that. I have a lot of stuff in my notes about people asking questions that I'm like I always think I'm gonna get to these. I'm gonna answer these questions and then they just sit in my notes forever. So sorry if it took me so long to really address that, but yeah, I think that is still a thing. 
So now we have, it takes probably about a minute or so to get some purple spice, but then we're gonna start duplicating the purple spice and make lots and lots of money. You'll see how we're gonna duplicate some spice. Yeah, peace offering to the Grok so they don't declare war on us as we go to the center of the galaxy because that's required to become the invincible spaceship is getting to the center of the galaxy. So we gotta make sure they don't declare war on us as we go by them. Homemade Detroit, yeah, it's entirely factories and it's just houses and factories, no entertainments. The They will eventually protest, but it feels like it takes a really, really long time for them. So this is pretty safe. And if you just, and when they do protest, it's pretty funny. You, you just save and quit and then they start working again. Eventually they will protest again. Oh, there's the purple spice. Uh, but yeah, it's funny. You can basically just get around it and just save and quit and keep making, keep making Detroit forever. So now we have our one purple spice, we put it on the ground, and then we beam it back up. You basically call the, the Empire as soon as the spice hits the ground. It's kind of like it come, starts out small, like it begins small and then grows. As soon as, you, as soon as it starts growing, you call the colony. And then that allows them to sell you back as much as there is. So like even though this colony should only be able to hold five spice because there's one colony, uh, because of when we contacted them, it allows us to buy all 16, and then we just beam it back up really quickly, and it doubles our spice. It's pretty sweet. Pretty cool, great, pretty great uh, glitch. And we can do this all the way until 99. Uh, if you've seen my recent uh, maximum money speed runs, you'll probably recognize this. Oops. Uh, probably messed that up. Yeah, so you go know, back to 5 because I kind of messed that up, but if we beam it back up, it's still worth nine, the 99. So we can buy the 99, minus 1, so that way we can still use our reduction beam and move it slightly. And then we'll have multiple sets of 98 spice on the planet for us to pick up later. We're only going to do one just because I don't think we need that much money for the next phase of this run. We got 5 again. That when we lost the terror score, but that's fine. We got 98. I want to put three. Makes it safe. And then we go back to our home planet. Here we go. Let's explain this in the video. This just takes really long. What key? It's a Y on the keyboard. Brings up the Empire. There's the spice gathering mission. Uh, cutscene. I'm going to save because I also want to sell my spice for a good price. So I haven't looked at the trading thing yet. 14 is too low. I'm going to try re-rolling like re-rolling the RNG of that spice price, because if you haven't seen the trading price yet, it's still like randomized. It's still Schrodinger's uh, spice price. So if you say before it's determined, you can get another one. 32, I'm, 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 I'm impatient. I'm just gonna use it now. Three million is plenty for what we're trying to do for this part. I mean, I'm just gonna acquire more purple spice just so we have it in our inventory. Because I want to get to that center of the galaxy. Keep show y'all what what's going on here county becomes independent space empire oh uh yeah i think it's saw that somewhere i don't think it ever does i put cheat engine on like a million times speed to uh to try to see if um i'm gonna get more health if it ever revolt it never seemed like it does okay i'm going to save and i'm also going to make this a checkpoint in case anything goes wrong because this is some some critical moments for coming up here is how we interact with the grox is really important uh so i'm gonna call this like space pre space pre grox okay there we go go back in so now we're gonna become the ghost ship glitch before we contact any other empires so i'm gonna make sure my view is kind of properly set up because once you become the ghost ship oh i also need to buy the um interstellar drive too i almost forgot we got plenty of money. Because as long as we don't contact another empire, we uh, we know uh, the Grox can still trade with us. And that was kind of something else I wanted to do. It's not like an, an, a badge or achievement or anything. I just kind of wanted it for a while we were still allied with them because I kind of find it was interesting. So hopefully this doesn't take me too long to do. So what you basically are going to try to do, I'm going to get the positioning right. I'm going to save and then click on a star basically immediately after. Okay, it was a little too early, so it might take me a couple tries. 
Grass conquer plants for sure. Yeah, they can take they can just destroy other planets. There it is. Second try. Pretty good. So you basically it's a bit of a timing, kind of like a badump, badump sound, a kind of a rhythm. And you will destroy the ship and save at the same time. So now once again I want to save and quit. And then load back in the game. So we are going to basically load back in without a ship. Because our ship is destroyed, yet we still saved before we respawned. Kind of an interesting thing. So now we are a ghost ship. We have no ship, zero health, zero energy. But this allows us to fly infinitely for free without fuel and reach the Grox uh, first before contacting anyone else. So it's pretty great. As far as we're auto updated. Update mod. Yeah, that might be a good idea. Y'all should uh, remind me. I feel like 10 minutes. I should I should probably save just because it hasn't crashed yet. But yeah, this game is so notorious for crashing that that would probably be a good idea to crash every so often so we don't lose our destroying the Grox progress. So we don't want to contact anyone. I think we can contact them from outside the system as long as we don't contact them on the planet themselves with the uh, the Drake equation cutscene. Uh, I've, I've done this route like a million times for the speedrun, so I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm going, but this might just kind of look like I'm driving kind of just randomly, but I'm actually going a very specific direction. If you watch my speedruns and kind of play along, you'll see where I'm going. I know to take a left there, and we are actually almost already at the Grox. And we are on hard, but you can still ally them if you contact them early enough. It's the you avoided contact is always what makes them declare war. Yeah, they attract random empires. It always seems like it's nearby. Like, other than that, like, one event that, like, tries to introduce you to the Grox, I'm pretty sure that one's just chosen randomly. I, it might even be you, yourself, but I think it's more likely to be other other empires. But once, like, that event's over, if there's any empires just kind of nearby, I think they might attack, but I'm not actually sure. It might be if you ask them to, they would. So here's the Grox. I'm going to zoom in and talk to them as quickly as I can. Yeah, so this is uh, this is really important. This cutscene right here, I'm going to show it. Hopefully I'm going to answer questions. So the Drake equation was right, and this will prevent them from declaring war. So we got the Gracious Greeter anyway, so we have plus 10, so not angry. And then we can, so, so it says improve relationship to trade. If you always look at the Grox, it says, just says not available. It's because I talked to them first, for some reason that unlocks the ability to trade with the Grox once we improve the relationship enough. And maybe it's because of like the um, like the, the starting missions and like the tutorial system, it, kind of like the first mission, how like it doesn't get rid of our energy. There's some kind of safeguards to make sure something never fails, but we can kind of use that to uh, ally, trade with the Grox once we ally them, which is pretty cool. I think it's really cool. When you hear uh, dialogue, you don't normally hear. So I'm going to give them about 600,000, so this will keep them from declaring war. They will still try to attack me though, which is different. The Gronks are kind of unique, where... Yeah, kind of little gremlin creatures. Uh, so it still says enemy territory, but the Gronks are... I guess it's actually probably true for most... for everyone else, where they uh, they can have enemy territory. This is the uh, approaching the Galactic Core cutscene. I hear Kitty coming. They won't actually fully declare war. Once they declare war, I'm pretty sure it's like over. You can't do anything with the Grox. They'll just say, you know, exterminate, no attack, everything is futile, uh, and there's no way to get out of it. But as, as long as you don't let them declare war on you, you can still um, ally them, even on hard difficulty, which is pretty cool. Kitty! Hopefully you can probably hear Maggie coming back in. She, hello! Up! Up! There we go. Yeah, she always likes to jump on my lap. She'll be hanging out with us for a little bit longer. She probably got disturbed from me talking too much. She's probably not used to me talking uh, to nobody, <laughs> seemingly to her, so much. And then she'll probably get disturbed and leave, but she might sit. You might hear some kitty noises. Um, our, even though we bought the Interstellar Drive 2, the, our range is reduced. It's kind of hard to see at this perspective uh, where we're going. Uh, we should be able to get... Yeah, you should be able to get through here. Uh, because of this, perspective is a bit wonky because I'm like on the side. It's kind of hard to see which one's actually next. Usually I put a more top-down view, but it's fine. I know I, I know I can get through. Just got to find where it is. It's kind of hard to see. It definitely can. Uh, it might be this one. There it is. The Yeah, just because the perspective is weird, it makes it look like you... you 
what's closer is not there it is what's actually not closer but eventually we'll, we'll make it through so we get three parsecs because of the galactic core as soon as we get closer to the galactic core it reduces our jump range no matter what we started with and that was what made it impossible to reach certain grox locations uh, i see all your comments for the key yeah, so nice it's maggie the cat maggie the calico uh, but in a later version, they updated the game to allow you to get your full range back once you uh, get to the center of the galaxy, which we are approaching pretty soon. And this is what I do in all my like, pitiful worm runs and stuff, so you, I just like cut out all this like really slow driving and basically just go, hooray, we made it to the center of the galaxy, but that's essentially all it really takes. And there's the center of the galaxy, 42 achievement still coming up, and we get to watch the Galactic Core cutscene because there is no way to skip the cutscene. So normally I'm almost, I almost hit like time because I'm so used to seeing the Galactic Core cutscene and seeing time and saying time. Uh, so we get to listen to this in the background as I get to respond to comments and take a drink of water from my water bottle really quick. And wow, thank you everyone so much for watching. 8.58 I see on my my stream, anal stream analytics, that's incredible. Thank you all so much for watching. It's I know I say it so much, but I really do mean it. It's, this makes it so much more fun to stream, and I'm really glad that everyone is excited to watch the Destroy the Grox Empire, and with all of these kind of interesting glitches layered on top of it to make it so much easier and just so much more relaxing. Because of the Invincible Spaceship glitch, will make this so much easier, and it'll make me much more excited to try to stream more. Hopefully, I'm, like, I'm trying to do it at least once a week. For, for Spore. Maybe I'll add some other games within the week, but maybe I'll be more motivated to be like, I want to destroy more Grox. So let's let's start a stream. So, thank you all so much for watching and sticking by. But we do have to watch the entire Galactic Core cutscene because there's no way to skip it. Uh, other than, you know, closing the game, but that won't count. So, it's, it's about three minutes, so it's not too long. You have 42, the answer to the ultimate question of the universe. And this is probably, like, the gonna be the best, uh, stream like on youtube like all the comments are always so great i only have i'm like i'm my only moderator and it's been great yeah we don't care about you put the cat on so i'm glad everything's staying so great and i've have a to stop the stream and to do any moderating great. and also look at the uh the spaceship isn't here it's a completely blank it's because of the ghost ship glitch so we don't have anything any estimate i feel like i heard someone say it should take like 50 hours but i'm really interested in seeing how long this will take. So the, the timer, of course, will stay on every stream. So we know today is like the real time start, but this is going to take place over several days. So I'm going to make sure the timer, I record the timer, and then put it back on when we start the next stream. And this will record all the in-game time that we spend. So I'm more, kind of more interested, interested in seeing the, like the in-game time, but how long this takes me is more of like how long, many times I want to stream. So I'm thinking 50 to 80 hours. That's my estimate. 50 to 80. He's trapped. Goals in the game, Steve. How many planets have you done so far? We haven't destroyed any Grox yet. We kind of just started uh, get getting to space. We're setting up the invincible spaceship glitch. If you haven't seen that before, it's using the ghost ship glitch, uh, which is basically destroying and saving at this, destroying your spaceship and saving at the exact same time it allows us to become a ship that doesn't exist, which we saw in that cutscene wasn't even there. And as soon as we get out of here, we will see how to get become the Invincible Spaceship. So there we go, 42, Staff of Life. And see how we were, when we were the ghost ship, we had zero health and zero energy. But leaving the Galactic Core cutscene, that's why it's so critical, restores our health and energy, which allows us to actually enter a planet. It's, it's actually interesting. The, the ship won't be able to enter a planet. Yeah, it does a cutscene for the Grox. Uh, so yeah, they're not mad at us. It doesn't allow us to enter a planet when we have zero health. So we have to get restore our health with the Galactical Cutscene. And then when we use Return Ticket on our no spaceship. So yeah, this is how we kept the Grox from declaring war. So they shouldn't be able to declare war or do anything until we get back to them. So when we return home, we have our spaceship again. And I'll show you, we are actually completely invincible. Wait, I'm going to run out of energy. Well, check this out. I'm gonna run out of energy. Yeah, uh, here. And look at this. I'm I'm jumping, and our health won't get reduced. It's stuck at 300. 
no matter how many times. So normally, when you take dam, you when you take damage when you run out of energy, and you on your spaceship. But no, nope, not us. We are invincible and cannot be destroyed. And I believe it's like permanent. There's like absolutely no way out of this. Uh, the only difference I could tell, and our view changes back, is that like the Sporpedia button doesn't work. But I'm willing to sacrifice the Sporpedia button for a completely invincible spaceship to destroy the Grox Empire, completely uh, worry-free, basically, and it's going to be great. So, yeah. So I don't know if there is a, another way to get in this button, but everything else works just fine. And we have all of our all of our badges. So our goal is to get every badge. This one is the Ally the Grox, and then this one is the Destroy the Grox, or either way. And we're going to get all the badges as well, and um, along with all of these glitches. So, you can use energy tools. Yeah, I can still use energy tools. I don't have any right now, but I can show you. We can go back home and recharge, because we're still slow. Like, the the um, the no energy movement speed is still still applies, but, the, but we just won't take any damage. Basically, the ship is the same, but we can still recharge for free, which is pretty great. And then we can move on like normal. And remember, we got why I wanted blue is we got the zippy speed, so now we're fast and invincible. So, and the other ones like more energy and more health don't really matter too much because we're invincible. So I felt like this we needed three to become shaman, three greens to become shaman, which allowed us one option for non-green. So I took my one my one option to become a speed demon for space stage. Yeah. Infinite cooldown is annoying. Yeah, so I'm catching up on comments. So glad we all was able to see that pretty cool glitch. So now we're going to go around and just kind of like stabilize our immediate area because they're all going to be really mad when we um, uh, go to the center of the galaxy. We're not really not sure why I'm doing this right now. We actually, need some more money. So we can ally the Grox. That's going to be our next goal, which means I need a bit more money, which means I want to sell a bit more purple spice. Actually, I wanted to sell, see what they sold it for, or what they uh, would buy purple spice for, because I need planet busters. 27 is a bit low. It's kind of like the start of that omnipotent percent run, where we needed a lot of money to to do everything. Uh, I need to find someone basically willing to give me a good price. I can use the save and quit trick if uh, it f feels like it's taking too long. That was Interstellar Drive 3. We shouldn't buy from here. I know the empires pretty well because they're always consistent what empire locations are. Uh, let's see, what do you trade for? Oh yeah, the minimum, not very good. But I can buy this. Wormhole key, I'm not going to buy that so far. I'll buy some of these maybe. I'm not going to apply anything. They're all going to be declare war on me once we ally the Grox. That's still part of this stream's goal, is I want to ally the Grox, which means I need a bit more money. I'm basically looking around for someone willing to sell me or buy from me uh, an expensive price for a purple spice so I can buy a couple planet busters to destroy the galactic code or break the galactic code. Oh, some more minimums. So I can yeah break the galactic code so I can um, buy the. So we can ally the Grox. Because I want that badge for this stream. Uh, let's see. I haven't been here. I actually kind of wanted to show something interesting. Yeah, home world's, world's always spice, if you're a wanderer. Yeah. So uh, this one hasn't been... Oh, it has purple spice. Okay, well, I wanted to basically wait until it had another purple spice, even though it's not basically required anymore because we have another... Uh, planet with purple spice it's when we go around collecting money it's not like we'll need too much because i can do so much duplication but what i wanted to show was the star systems themselves are also kind of in that state of like uh that schrodinger's cat schrodinger's system where they don't get generated until we view them so i wanted to save here because this one's just kind of random that this one here so we got we got red red yellow red yellow is a purple and i wanted just wanted to show what did I save? I, I'm, I'm paranoid. I, I want to make sure I saved. Okay, this one's like okay, I'm saving. Okay, definitely saved. This this place right here. Red, yellow, red, yellow again with the blue system. And then if we save and don't quit, and we load back up, that system should be generated differently. So that actually could be really important for something like storybook planets. Like let's say we explore every syst single system in the entire galaxy with like 10 remaining. This will allow us to generate... Oh, this must have already been generated. 
once you click on it, it becomes generated. So I may have just missed my opportunity once, but that's basically the idea is if you go to someone you haven't clicked on yet, I think I just kind of clicked on all of these. It's generated once you click on it. So now it's like all generated. So that will allow us to get more like um, wormhole and uh, um, storybook planets in case they uh, don't generate. Cause I feel like those are really rare, the storybook planets because they're generated like as just regular planets. They're not like a consistent location. And I forgot about the energy being out, so. Almost there, I just wanna find a couple more spots to, okay. oops, uh, buy some expensive purple spice. So that 32 is probably pretty good. 19, it's not that great. But still 50 hours. Is it going to compare too much from uh oh they give me ten thousand bucks for how much this is going to throw on this antique so i'm going to do the save and quit trick on well actually they're purple spice they won't um sell me they won't want to buy it for me for my uh a, yeah, a high price for purple spice if they're on a purple spice planet so i'm just going to colonize this place really fast and as i want a good price for purple spice and then we'll be able to move on from here so i don't have to waste any more time here I'm going to save a storybook planet. It's a rare planet that goes with this badge. Thanks for asking. Uh, the Wonderland Wanderer, discover one storybook planet. It's a rare, randomly generated, but very rare to generate planet that can in the galaxy. So we need like several of these to see, to fill this badge. And that's actually kind of the one I'm actually somewhat worried about almost as equally as the destroy the rocks badge, because this is so rare. Uh, to get it, it feels like to me just playing kind of my casual history of playing uh feels like super rare so hopefully we find those uh before like we finish destroying all of the grux i'm gonna check the price here 23 so i'm gonna do the same thing where i re-roll and i want some decent prices for this oh i actually forgot i'm so used to these easy prices hard and normal have different prices i'm, I'm trying to wait for that seventy three thousand. But because I'm on hard, I actually don't know the prices that well. Well, I know 75 is not very good. Hold on one sec. We're actually going to bring up the wiki. Uh, the wiki is a great resource. Uh, it's not all 100% accurate, so you'll be warned. Everything is to be taken as exact and gospel, but I'd say like 80% of it's pretty good. But at least this table is. 58, that's maximum. That's equivalent to the 73,000 spore buck price for easy. And that's what we have now on hard difficulty. So I'm going to sell that because I need some money. Uh, maybe one day I'll go through the wiki and kind of clean it up, but not right now. There's a few things I could probably point out pretty quick about what's uh, inaccurate. I'll have to go through my notes though. Like some rare prices and stuff are not right. Like the geodes, I think, are wrong. Anything basically like a statement is sometimes not right. I'm gonna double a bit more spice. I need a bit more money. I want four planet busters, which means I need. Was that like 12,000? Oops, it wasn't fast enough there. I need to double a bit more spice. Uh, 2.5 times four. Can't do math in my head while well. <laughs> playing. Two times four is eight, times 0. 0.5 times four. So that's like. Oh, it's not letting me dump, beam it back up. I'll just get like 12,000. You gotta do it kind of quick. It's pretty quick about um, cleaning up the spice once you buy it. But it, that was, those were really quick. Ten million? Okay, ten million. That sounds right. You have four halves. Yeah, that's two million plus the eight million. That's ten million. Right, right. Okay. I can do math. I have... I have math ability. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna build a little bit more spice before we go. You're bad at math. I gotta use my fingers, bro. Yeah, I'm bad at math on the spot, that's for sure. Calculus 2 was definitely my hardest class. That was hard. Calculus day was easier. That's uh, calculus two is the integrals one. 
with one yeah calculus one is the derivatives calculus two is the integrals calculus three was integrals but with more than one variable that's how that went oh that's actually plenty of money okay so i'm just going to pick up the purple spice just so i have it because it could has a chance of despawning uh that's why i made the extra storage uh, 99 what do you talk to? Oh, a sub button? It's Y. Y on the keyboard brings it up on, without having to uh, click on the button. Y on the keyboard. Okay, so what we're going to do is going now we're going to buy some Planet Busters, which I know the locations of. There it is, as I say that. I need some Planet Buster. Oh, I can't buy the Planet Buster. I have Colonist 5. What am I... What am I doing? Okay, so it's gonna take a bit longer than I was expecting to, than I thought initially to get to Planet Busters, but I need the Planet Busters because we found out the other day that the embassy wasn't a good way of, what am I trying to say? The embassy, I couldn't get the plus 10 once they did the enemy territory thing. So the only way to do that is to break the Galactic Code, which the easiest way from here is to, the only way from here is to, um, Get the planet buster and they get the planet buster any colonist five and that means i need to spend like more money and get more colony badges i don't really feel like doing what we did for the other speed runs where i like destroy my own colony over and over so i feel like i might just tap into my staff of life reserves after anything plus x plus seven plus four i'll be able to do it hopefully i'm keeping up with chat enough let me go back to the other view um Going for all both Grox badges, you're going to ally and destroy them? Yeah, we're going for allying and destroying them. So we're going for allying right now as we get the um, thing. Oh, Lucas Hope, I would miss you. Thanks for stopping by. You've been a great, great contributor. Thanks for stopping by for all three streams. Really appreciate it. Uh, I hit the key again. She meows quite loud. Uh, hopefully. So hopefully I'll see you next time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap into my... Uh, staff of life reserves right away because maybe I'll do it on better plants than this one where it doesn't really matter I don't really have an exact plan for what I'm gonna do here but I want to because I've, I've actually never used like the staff of life in my, my normal runs it is kind of interesting as I always like leaving it 42 because by now I'd have like better terraforming tools but then I'd also need like level 3 everything else so I'm just going to tap into it why not use it? Which is kind of fun. Never really used the Staff of Life too much. I'm pretty sure if you use like one of the beams, like the atmosphere beams, excuse me, while the uh, Staff of Life is going, you get the badges for it. Like as if you're doing it yourself. And I'm doing this to get more uh, colony building so we can get this, the um, Planet Buster. So this might take a bit, but hopefully y'all are still interested in Second round to watch, because I still want to ally the Grox this run. Which I think would be fun. And kind of start seeing and, pl and planning out how we are going to start destroying them. Because once I ally them that have the badge, we can remove the... Uh, we can remove... I'm actually going to do this. Re uh, remove the, um, the ally, and we still keep the badge. So I'm actually going to be a good ruler of my system and actually give them... Some smiley faces. I know, right? Crazy. I'm pretty sure if I do it like this is the best way. I can still get some smiley faces here. What was I trying to do? What is it, kitty? I think this is the way I usually do it for the colony layout. There we go. Go in the pantry stand. Do something like math, maybe. Interesting. Yeah, that's being interesting is like is really really important. Like, can't tell you how much that's actually saved me. So I'm actually going to get rid of a lot of these buildings. Where am I looking? Like wanting to learn about like oh I'm still talking too much for the cat. She's gonna leave again. Uh, like wanting to learn about all the OBS settings and everything is like worth more than a class when it comes to uh, applicable 
wanting to learn something that's even like more important than a class. Like uh, OBS just added like app, uh, application specific audio capture is like instill in beta. And I've actually like been waiting for that for like years. I've been doing some crazy like audio work around uh, to get the audio to not be strictly from like the desktop audio. Because if I wanted to let's say record the game audio while I'm like watching a stream, the stream audio would be recorded and as part of the game audio. And I didn't want that because I wanted the raw footage. So I had some like, direct the audio of the game to another program to which uh, that was captured separately and then like mirror that audio actually can I do this I believe that's what I've been doing 105 uh, mirror the audio to another source so I could record it there we go oh do it like but with the audio specific capture it it just works by itself. It's pretty great. Pr pretty great. So I'm actually going to change this to the colonist badge. See how far our progress is going. Uh, but yeah, learning that kind of stuff, like I'm super interested in like you know, making the stream as like, the best as possible and making it as convenient as possible for me. So that's, that's the kind of stuff like I can learn without even being prompted to. I find that stuff really interesting and that stuff, the kind of classes might not even really teach. So I think it's really cool. OBS, OBS stuff like that. Need to make some food in the stream fire? Oh, thanks so much. Uh, Rogue, brother, my, my talking is getting a bit, a bit hoarse, but I'm glad. Bravo. I'm trying to pronounce everyone's name properly. Hopefully that wasn't one of the ones we had explained earlier that I've forgotten. But yeah, I really appreciate that. I'm glad the stream is is, is entertaining. The South of Life has a fairly long cooldown time I wasn't expecting. There we go. But thank you so much for the for stopping by. Hopefully I'll see you again in the future. Uh, what's the challenge? We are destroying... Oh, if you pause, you return and watch it 25 speed. Uh, we are just trying to destroy the Grox Empire uh, and get all badges, which requires us to ally the Grox first uh, before... Because I want all badges. You have to ally the Grox before you start destroying them, because once they declare war on you, it's it's over. You gotta... You gotta just... You gotta fight them or, or just give up. So I wanna, oh, and the game crashed. How long was our save? No, I should have saved more. No, I think I didn't save that long ago, but I'm gonna load it back up. The game does crash for me. I always see people say, how does the game not crash for you so often? I'm like, yeah, it still, still does crash. I'm gonna, I need, I need some reminders about uh, saving. Maybe like 10 minutes y'all you know, can remind me to save. How long ago was that? I, I think we didn't do it at most. I just placed the colonies, the, the uh, buildings at that one colony. But thanks, Spore. Real cool. I don't, so we, we are still invincible. Like I'm pretty sure, I just wanna double check. Someone was asking, are we still invincible after a save and quit? Candy, I don't know if you can hear the cat. In the background, she wants. So they want someone's attention. Yeah. Okay. We're still invincible even after a reload. So we're still not taking any damage. So I think at most what we did was just place those other colonies. Yeah. It's five out of five again. So, okay. So I'll make sure to try to save. So unfortunately, we have to do that again because we're still going for the planet buster, which means we, y'all gotta sit through that one more time. Back to forty-two. Hopefully it won't take too long, now that I know what I'm placing in. And penalty says, yeah, the timer is still going. It took me that long to do. That's my, my own fault for not saving, which means I could have reduced the amount of penalty time from the crash. So that was like two minutes of time. If I had saved more, if I saved immediately after leaving this planet, uh, that could have reduced the time. So that's on me for not saving enough. And yeah, we keep the penalty time. The timer just keeps going. Hopefully the timer is still going yeah that looks it looks like it's all good uh and south of life takes a bit of time to cool down but now we place it again we're gonna place this like maybe like six plants or so so it's not like adding one more is too much extra time but yeah game crashes all the time usually doesn't crash in that kind of way it's kind of odd but first crash <laughs> 
Anyway, have a good stream. Thanks, Son Newt. Soul Newt. Thank you so much for good stream vibes. Hopefully you don't mind watching me place all of these again, but won't take too long. And I really want to ally the Grox for this stream. That's probably that's one of the main goals for this stream I want to do. Kitty's back. She's conflicted. She wants pets and attention, but I'm being a bit too loud for her. Okay, I'll give her attention because I need the the cooldown time. What's during the cooldown time I can go through some of the pictures. Oh, we can't save on a planet. So yeah, definitely well, I can go in and out like this, I guess we can save here. Every time we go in and out of a planet, we um she's so conflicted she jumped back down again, I'm talking too much. Uh she likes the quiet. And, she, and normally my lap is nice and quiet. <laughs> But, uh, you can't, I can't save on a planet, but as soon as we leave planets, like, every time we go between, like, as soon as I'm done with this colony, this colony will be completed, and then I'll be able to take a save and go to the next one. So, yeah, two minutes at most loss, not too bad, not too disappointing. It's not like we had to go back to the center of the galaxy or anything, so. Yeah, speed, speed walk run, yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a casual speed walk. I'm going as fast as I can, but I'm not trying to clip up every every single second so we're having a nice calm casual run what is it kitty um and we almost got the staff of life uh recharge let's see if i can get a picture of the kitty while we're waiting i had pictures prepared for this images pets let's see here's a new more recent picture of Maggie. Full screen that. Let's see. There's a picture of Maggie. She is still in really good shape. She's 17 years old and she has a bit of surface cancer a little bit but they say it's pretty benign and it's a bit um it's not harmful. It's that's kind of like a wait and see but other than that she is doing great. It's a pretty recent picture. Uh Staff of Life's back up. So hopefully y'all like my kitty. Uh, this is her on my, on my couch. Yeah, she is, she is super, super nice. Super cute cat. And it's Maggie. Oh, we can buy more colony packs from these guys. We're going to get a few more. Yeah, seven, yeah, 17 years old. She's doing great. She's super active, super great. She's still loving life. She's jumping up and down. She still jumps onto the table where we keep her food. Keep her away from uh, Daisy and Dog, who would eat her food uh, nice and quick. Guess I'll be able to save here. Cat photos. Kidney disease. Uh, she's actually a great drinker. Uh, I think that's the reason why cats get kidney disease, I've, I think I've heard, is where they don't drink very much and then their kidneys ha go have trouble. But she's actually great at drinking. She's I drinks more than I do, actually, probably. Like, more often, not total amount, but... Uh, she's like constantly in the bathtub wanting us to turn the little the faucet on. It's kind of a leaky faucet, so she hangs out there all the time. Uh, missing one. That is one. 105. 105 is what I'm looking for. And then. So I think that's what causes kidney disease for cats. But yeah, that is a notorious thing for cats to get. But she's still doing great. But we haven't gotten her checked for it. So yeah, who knows? Could be. But I'm enjoying every every minute with her. She's great. Oh, uh, let's see. He's the main character. Yeah, just pretend the cat's playing. This is the face reveal for the cat. It's great. Stream gonna be a regular thing? I hope so. I'm trying to get them at least uh, once a week for Spore. Maybe I might throw in some other games along with Spore, but I want to say Spore will be uh, at least once a week. Admin, like trying to get that to be a minimum like every Saturday if I don't especially if I don't post a regular video which I'm still working on the regular videos as well but this takes a lot of prep to get all smooth and everything I know what I'm doing for these streams but if we have this series it should make it a lot easier with the prep so I can stream more often without so much prep and mi still make the regular YouTube videos for y'all because I still really like making those okay got that colony there I want to put back the colonist badge And I will take a save when we finish the finish a uh, planet. So if y'all are interested in something like OBS, uh, interested in something like uh, Halo streams or Portal streams, those are the other games that I I'm just gonna use the same galaxy, the same uh, system. 
other streams I feel play games that I feel the most comfortable with that I could probably stream along with Spore. So if you're interested in something like Halo or Portal, it'd be much appreciated. It would be awesome if you wanted to stick around. You upload the stream, please. Uh, the the stream is still saved on YouTube. Uh, it's part of. It's just like in the live tab. If you go like my homepage, like the YouTube home, like homepage for my channel, and then go on live, all the streams should still be there. I'm having some issues with the like chat, the live chat not staying. I'm thinking it was maybe because. Oh wow, over a thousand viewers. Thank you all so much. That's awesome. I was having a bit of trouble with the live chat not appearing for the kitty, not appearing for the second stream. I think it was because uh, I had two copyright claims from the Galactic Adventures we were playing the other day uh, from last stream, and maybe because of I edited out edited out the audio for those moments, and maybe because of doing any kind of edits, it like lost the chat that went along with it, but I was kind of disappointed. I'm not sure if that's what it was, but that's my only, like, hypothesis uh, of why the stream live chat, replay chat, wasn't available for that stream, but I'm, I'm trying to keep all the replay chats and the live streams public and there forever, so in case you miss it, you can always go back to it. But I'm not sure why, but I'm trying my best to improve these streams each time. This is my third stream, and I've finally figured out how to I finally figured out how to get to the, like the streaming dashboard, like before the stream starts. It took me forever to get everything all set up the first time, but it should be all good. It should be all good now. And I'm out of money actually. Where was that good seller? I don't remember who I was selling to. Is it here? I need to find some more money. I'm still in my one of my casual runs. 38, that's good enough. I'm gonna sell that much. So I can duplicate more later. Kitty up. I'm still talking, making noise, kitty. It's still too much noise for the bag. But yeah, the stream should still be there. I'm not sure if that's what caused the live chats to not be present anymore. Is it worth to have positive happiness on cities? It makes it just like a little bit easier. Like they will eventually protest uh, from the streams. I think I got that wrong in one of my videos. They will eventually protest. It may take a really long time. Uh, you can like just save and quit and they'll start working again, but the planet is treated as if it is under attack and it's just a little more annoying to work with. And like they only need to produce like a little bit amount of money. So it's not like it's that like detrimental to have some happiness, but not like a hundred percent technically required to have uh, happiness. No, this one needs. No, I can just go in here to have happiness, but I am just choosing to do so. There we go. And make it just a little bit easier, so I don't have to worry about them calling me up, being like, "Your twenty thousand twenty thousandth colony is revolting." Go fix their entertainments. I'm like, ah, oh, it's fine. I'll take a little bit of hit on the profits, <laughs> my Ferengi profits, to uh, to make sure they don't bother me. But the, you know, it's actually probably I. Oh, we're almost at Colonist Five. What I probably should be doing actually is uh, not even making smiley faces. If I make them neutral, I don't think they would, but it's fine. It's it's fine. Not the most optimal. Maybe as I get get into it more, I'll make it more optimal. Because I don't think we need a smiley face. It's not like Civilization stage where they will celebrate. I'm just trying to keep them from prevent preventing them from um, revolting and being unhappy. But it's fine. That's kind of, that's just what I'm used to. I've had like three fairly large casual runs in my my history of playing this game. Two were on a computer I unfortunately lost, the hard drive broke, so I couldn't recover the um, the save file. It was before I knew about how the save files worked, like in the roaming files on Windows, so those were unfortunately lost, but I used cheats on those, so it's not like they really mattered, but they, those systems were huge, So I and I was using this layout, I think, back then, so I'm just so used to just kind of placing them down in a, in a casual setting like this, so I think it's fine. I also need to buy more colonies. 
I believe. And I can wait for the colony recharge while placing more buildings. It's actually not recharging while I'm in the city planner, but it gives us something to do while we're waiting. And I can read jet as well. Never cause problems. Except it's 180 with yeah neutral happiness. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think it causes any revolting problems. I'm just not being as optimal as I could be. But because I'm making money through all the duplication anyway, uh, I don't mind too much. But maybe in our, I was proposing possibly in our next long run in a universe where we finish this run to do this basically again as a 100% run, but uh, no glitches. So no invincible spaceship. But I wanted to make this one the uh, like the test run in a way. Uh, using all the glitches I could, so including the invincible spaceship, because we only have 300 health in my for my spaceship uh, on hard difficulty, which is pretty low. So for this, when we're destroying the Groks, of course they're going to be attacking us, and then we're like barely going to be able to make it into the in in and out of the planets. Of course, with health five, we would be able to get higher health, but uh, higher health, but. 1500 is still not that high. We'd probably have to go for the um, the consequence trait that gives you more health. I think it gives you up to like 2250 or something like that. But that's in the future. That's kind of where I'm looking for, kind of like the roadmap of these streams. Is this why I'm doing this now? To try to judge how long it should take and if it's reasonable to do again. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So there's all three. I'm going to take a save. We're, not, we're pretty close. We're almost there. Do I have enough colonies? Can I buy more from here? Uh, nope. No colonies here. Uh, no colonies. Hey, more purple spice. How about purple spice? Hey, more colonies. I think we need a few more colonies. Uh, two. Now we got one more planet in here. Let's make a super... A super system. Everyone's colonized here. We got one of each color. Oh, it's a cube. Cool. Little cube on it. May have been a patch or something, may have been years. Uh, let's see, let me catch up a bit. It's still incredible. 1,032 people watching. That's incredible. Thank you all so much for watching and sticking around while we work on. The point right now is we're getting uh, Planet Busters. We need Colonist 5. So if you're wondering what exactly I'm doing, what's the purpose right here? Beyond just getting Colonist 5 because that is part of the all of the badges, we're specifically getting it for the. Get unlocking planet buster because it requires colonist five so we can break the galactic code so we can ally the grox that is our that is and the game crashed again glad we just saved just saved right <laughs> and the game crashed again hopefully it doesn't crash this often it was like 10 minutes day 47 of destroying the grox crashes again that was a weird crash i don't know why it crashed on the staff of life but it doesn't take too long to bring it back Primal Kev, hi, welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad you're interested in Thanks for watching the stream. Okay, I don't think we lost any time. Uh, where are we in? Yeah, we're still at 55. Unfortunately, we crashed, but we just save. I want to make double sure that we have everything filled out. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. And we're going to keep. Um, Placing colonies. We just had a crash. I'm a bit discombobulated, but we're back on track. Hopefully, this isn't a cursed planet, and I can uh, keep going. <laughs> Second crash. But we saw and the uh, on those omnipotent percent runs, I was able to get like 40 minutes or so of no crashes. So hopefully, I'm just gonna chop that up to bad luck. Give me a notification sound. That was weird. Maybe that's what happened. Maybe it was like at the exact same time as that weird notification sound, even though no uh, notification came up. That's odd. Uh, 150 watchers. Oh, I see. Oh, I think I thought it was some concurrent. Sorry, my bad. I was looking at the wrong spot. That's a thousand total people have stopped by. Oh, 142 viewers. Think okay. Thank you all still so much for watching either way. It's still super awesome. Okay, I was like a thousand people watching me. Oh my god. That, uh, 153. Okay, that makes a lot more more sense. That's much more in line with how it was in the other streams. I was like, there's no way a thousand people came. But maybe one day we can get up to those levels. 
But yeah, 153 people current currently watching. A thousand people have stopped by. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad I don't get like stage fright, but not on the like super high end of a uh, extrovert either. So it's still a bit it's still a bit tiring. So hopefully I can last the three hours is my goal. Um, so we get all of our goals done. But I'm glad you know I'm making it super easy and relaxing to stream. Super, it's super nice. Yeah, 153 concurrent. Okay. okay. I was like, dang, the destroy the Grux sure got a lot of, ten of attention. Let's get more colonies. Oh, I didn't buy the colonies. That's what we missed on last time. I thought I had five, but we're almost there. Are you going to destroy the Grox by just destroying the cities or use the Zelt Power? Uh, I was debating whether to use the, the Zelt Power, the, the Fanatical Frenzy. Uh, it might be too slow compared to a couple alternative methods, including using perhaps volcanoes to destroy the city. So if you place a volcano right next to a city, that destroys it. Because the Fanatical Frenzy has a fairly long animation and traps you in the planet and doesn't let you leave. But the cooldown... Uh, the cooldown of the... Uh, volcanoes might be shorter. Even if there's two cities... And possibly multiple planets. That's the kind of stuff I want to try out on this run. It's like exactly the purpose for this uh, run, kind of doing all glitches and just the goal of just going for is it one, two, three? Uh, just the badges, including destroying the Grox, because we can try all that kind of stuff, and we can know for the future for other kind of hundred percent no glitch runs, perhaps see if that's something. What's what's the best? What's the fastest method? I'm going to save one more time. So yeah, we're going to... Uh, oh, there's a rare on this planet. Makes sense, thanks. Uh, you will see we are actually going to find... Uh, what makes it really convenient is the Fanatical Frenzy, the Zelt power. Uh, you, come, you, know, you, you can get the power by doing the split personality mission, like uh, right now we're Shaman. Uh, the split personality mission for the... Zealot is actually fairly easy because we need the split personality badge and we need to alternate between different archetypes and the diplomat and the uh, Zealot are I feel the oh, there's the Grox I feel are the best and easiest one the diplomat requires you to call uh, create five alliances while the Zealot requires you to get f uh, 15 colonies, which I feel like those are some pretty easy requirements for the split personality badge. There's some other ones that are crazy, like, long and hard. Uh, like, one is, like, 150 paint planets, but you have to use them on different planets or sell 5,000 items, which is, like, a crazy amount. Which I might try to destroy the grass and think it could take so long. Yeah, I'm really interested in seeing how long this takes. It's still a bit of prep that we're still having to do here, so I haven't actually really interacted with the Grox too much. I'm going to basically ignore that message. Unless it was on my system. Where was that? Uh, oh, it is my colony. Ooh, yikes. Um, yeah, I think as I haven't really interacted with many other people, I was actually wondering about that earlier. Couldn't the Grox attack me? They might destroy some of my colonies. Thankfully, that won't disturb our colonist uh, badge. Because uh, once you place it and destroy it, they actually still stays. But hopefully I, they're not on my purple planet, because I need more planet busters. A hundred and seven years. So yeah, kind of interesting to see how long this takes. We're almost there to colonist five. Oh, I could have done it here. Actually, didn't need to do that one. I guess we'll wait for it. I'll just place. I'll just. I'll just fill it out, and then we need more money to buy planet busters. So interesting, they're attacking my place, but I don't want to interact with them because I don't want to see that they don't want them to think I'm destroying their spaceships. I don't have that's also have like, haven't been placing any turrets, so those Grox ships should be in the clear and not uh, in danger of getting attacked because I still want to ally them. And if you attack them, that's you're kind of screwed. The terraform laser to kill them, yeah, you can improve there, improve them. Um. Yeah, they're attacking the Purple Spice Planet. Glad I actually have a second Purple Spice Planet to make even more money with. I wasn't actually thinking that that would come in handy. 
having a second purple spice planet because I was like, I'll just duplicate anyway. But apparently that planet is now occupied with the Grox, with that scripted attack from the Grox. So I can make more spice here on a second purple spice planet because you need a purple spice planet to do this dupe. I lost it. To do this duplication because they need to be able to sell it back to you for a zero. And if you put it on a different colony, they, they'll they charge you for it. Right? If you buy a different spice, they'll, they'll charge you for the, uh, the privilege of buying this spice from them. Or maybe on your own colonies, they don't even um, offer it back to you. But since I'm um, my colony, they'll give it to me for free. So I need 10 million again, because I need more planet busters, and we're back basically back down to nothing. I'm actually a bit worried. What was that Grox? Or was that just plunder? Was I am I was I talking crazy? I I just assumed it was the Grox, but it says not plundered by pirates. So actually, I've scratched everything I just said. I don't actually know if the Grox can attack you. I, I thought it said Grox. I someone someone checked me on that. Was it just pirates or was that the Grox? I I don't remember. Yeah, antimatter bombs, macro frenzy, and volcanoes. Definitely though, what we want to try to see. Uh, yeah, I'm a little worried about what that was. Kind of just not read. But we'd still need to sell the spice for more money, so we're going to check these colonies. Nine uh, minimum. 23. Oops. And let's check this colony. I said pirates? Okay. Okay. But what I was saying about the Grox is still still true. 40,000, 40,000 for, oh, 40,000 is maximum for green on this difficulty, so let's just sell that. Don't really need this anyway, but I want better price for the money. You found a planet with white spice? No way, Gonzalo? Gonzalo? You're, you're like my uh, my research and development uh, guy. You give me so many great tips on all these comments, on my, my YouTube comments. Uh, that's crazy, you found white spice? Make sure to like, Get a recording of that if you can, and send some pictures. Cause that's pretty incredible. Thirty thousand is not quite high enough. I don't know if that's like really rare or how that really works, but that's that's pretty great. That's incredible. I haven't I've never seen that planet with white spice. I'm jealous over here. Forty eight. Forty eight second to highest. I'll take that. Okay, if it was just pirates, I'm gonna go back to that um, that planet. Oh, they yeah, they took one of my spice. It was down to fourteen. Yeah, where were you when you didn't show up? <laughs> yeah, where were you? I thought you were getting attacked by someone like the Grox. Sorry. But either way, now we just need a bit more money. And then we can start buying Planet Busters and get on with the Grox allying. I got short of money in the end. Now I'll do about the space spice trick. Oh yeah, this spice trick's pretty great. Where you just uh, you call them up as soon as basically the spice hits the ground. You buy it. You place it back down, and then you can store additional spice by placing it back down. Buying all but one spice. And then just doing a little zippy zap to abduct it. You need to go to 98 because if you have 99 in your inventory, it won't let you use the abduction beam because you're full. But having 98 still lets you still lets you move it. So you can just I'm gonna store three spice crates. I think that's enough movement. So they're back and ready for me to buy again a bit later. That's no, minimum. That's that sucks. I'm gonna check for a couple more spice price. The game keeps crashing. No, don't crash so much, game. Where was it? Well, did I? Do I have to go back all the way? I'm really sorry about the game crashing, but blame EA. I don't. I don't know why it's crashing so much. That's actually kind of odd. I wonder what if I can like delete the graphics cache or something. But I really hope I don't remember saving in a while. I'm really sorry. I haven't been saving. No, I blame you. You're not reminding me to save. No, just kidding. Okay, yep. Kitty's making me feel better. It's sad. Where are we, colonists? 
Okay, we're almost done with colonists. Not maybe install an autosave mod. I don't. I, I, I honestly don't want to use it like a mod. I want to. I want to keep it as vanilla as possible, other than the four gigabyte patch. But maybe something like that is would be useful. I should have saved after this colony anyway. Yeah, I don't know why it's crashing so much. I really hope it's like not this like location or something, or maybe something's like pending in the background, like having the like, rocks open. But I really hope this doesn't become like a like a recurring thing. Uh, really sorry. Really, really unfortunate amount of crashing. It doesn't crash this much <laughs> on me normally. Like I'm able to do like those 40 minute, 50 minute uh, uh, omnipotent percent runs. So I was hoping it wasn't at least going to crash in uh, tribal stage, but I got switched back and I got instead crashed in a uh, space stage all the time. Hopefully it's not yeah, I'm just gonna hope and pray that it's just this install, like this day, just a bad day today. But it's not too, f not too terribly far away from where I was, and we're almost there. Just two more colony placements, and we we'll go back to get purple spice. We're almost done. Sorry. One, thanks for hanging out, working on with me. Yeah, that's like three crashes in like 20 minutes. <laughs> Doesn't normally crash that much, but. I wonder if it's, I feel like it's the amount of going in and out of planets is what does it, but I don't remember if that was going, if I was going into a planet or not, but extra difficulty because of the crashes. It's, at least I can talk about that on when we make the final video. I'm also recording this locally so I can have good footage for when we do the video, but I can say crash one, crash two, crash three. Every 10 minutes, I want to I want to save every 10 minutes or just any time we go in and out of something. That wasn't supposed to crash this much. It was almost unplayable to play everything on high quality. Interesting, higher quality makes it crash less. But we are almost back. I just need to. I wonder if this was before or after the pirates invaded. We're almost there. This shouldn't take more than like three more minutes. Oh, there, there it is. The pirates are back. So it was pirates the whole time. Almost there. So now we're back to here. Talking about the whole thing with the Grox. We'll go a little quicker. So I'm not reading the chat as much. One crash per four hours or something. Yeah, this is odd. It's odd amount of crashing. I really hope I don't have to like do any restarts and being like, yeah, that crashed too much. I got to use something else. But that's why I was kind of practicing with all those omnipotent percent runs. I was really confident that this wasn't going to happen so much. Wonder what it could be, something in the galaxy, causing me to crash. But I think it doesn't take too long to re, oops, to restore, uh, restart the game. Kitty, kitty. She likes to rub my uh, my fingers. Oh, it keeps re disappearing. She likes to rub my fingers while I'm playing because my you know fingers are right on WASD, but she's sitting just like right on my lap still. So she uh, thinks, oh, those those fingers are for me, right? Those are my, my fingers for, for rubbing. And she like, you know, rubs her you know, whiskers on the on my fingers. Nice and sweet, though. But I need those. I need those, key. Game tends to crash. Yeah, the 4 gigabyte patch, patch, I am using the 4 gigabyte patch as well. And it's still crashing. Oh, this is where the pirates are attacking? Oh, they attack somewhere else. Interesting. But... Yeah, that's a minimum. What? I'm not, I'm not petting I'm not petting her enough. I'm not petting her enough, so she... She's letting me know that I'm not petting her enough. But, yeah, so I'm being attacked there. But not even the purple spice planet, so I'm fine. I need a good... So I'm looking for a good price for my purple spice again. Misses with her attacking AI. Keep it, she's sitting on my lap right in front of me. I'm not sitting that close to my desk. 38. How's 38? 38's... I mean, I'm getting... I'm impatient. Now it's too far away. Let's see if I can beat 38. So this one had 38. Let's see if I can get better than 38 on my home planet. I'm kind of sitting about a foot away. Uh, okay, I'm gonna use the 38. 
<laughs> You're famous, skinny. It meows being sent. Well, I thought this was where the 38 was. It, it doesn't really rotate until you see like four or five other planets, but maybe it's like in groups. That's interesting. So if I see a good one, I'll, I'll take it. So now I, I kind of want to get to the center of the galaxy. I'm saving, saving. On hard difficulty. Yeah, but I wanted to do it on hard difficulty. I wanted it as like vanilla as possible. But we've been using the four gigabyte patch for so long, I don't really consider it like a mod or anything. 2016, I'm looking for some good spice prices. Oh, okay, they plundered some spice. Who cares? I guess I can go back to them. I feel like it rotates. The spice price like rotates as soon as you like view enough other planets. I think that's how it works. My apologies. Now sell bomb now buy my purple spice. No, no one wants to have a purple spice. 19. 19's not very good. I would take a 38 again. Okay, these guys are still minimum. I don't think it rotated. 27. So they're back to 27. Can these guys rotate again? No, yeah, they're not gonna not selling me. We are on track earlier, but our track has ended. Okay, I'm going to do the saving quit glitch to try to get better colonies, better prices. I'm going to save. View the thing. 48? Oh, great. I don't even have to even save and quit. Let's save that. I'm going to be like paranoid. I'm going to be saving constantly. I was even saving in some of my earlier omnipotent percent like practice runs because of just how often it would crash. I'd rather just have a completed run than like a clean run of like no saving. Let's do it one more time. I'm going to save like, and the saving like takes like two seconds so. There we go. Almost there. We'll go back to that colony I just placed because it should stay. It uh, what I mean by like rotate is after you view like five other planet spice prices, the spice prices like universally like seem to do like a big update and they all change to make it look like the market prices are changing. It has nothing to actually do with how much your spice you're buying, selling, acquiring, or anything like that. It appears because I could get it to rotate without doing anything, like 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 that. I could just do it with um. Just viewing other planets. So yeah, still 48. Even though I'm going to sell them loads of these. Saving. <laughs> Oops. How many achievements does your spore count have? I'm not sure how many the account has itself. The account I always use is the my, my family's account from like 2008. It still works, still have like the login. I'm not sure if you uh, see it in some of my videos, but it's uh, uh, you probably find it on Spore.com. If you I don't know if you can search for it, but it's a fan a t a t h a n underscore t o k. That's like our epic fun family's name. It's like a fan toke. That's the account I still use. So I'm not sure if you can find that on Spore and see Spore.com and find the achievements, but it should, should be there. Which one are you going to get? Around 10 million. Oh, I'm not 10 million, but I wanted a little bit more money. Just to be play it safe, because I need to buy some Planet Busters. And, but I also need to bribe the other... The other uh, empires to make us tradable. I'm going to save 10. I want that, I want that, and also I'm going to buy some stuff. Saving. Okay, now we're on the move. Finally, we're out of that holdout. 
And we're back to here where I was like, we can buy Planet Busters, but I needed Colonist 5 from here. A lot of teammates are really teased out of the way. Yeah, they're pretty hard to find sometimes. Planet Buster. If I was gonna go for an all, about that, like all achievements run, I was wondering if the. Uh, so you know when you get like the achievement for completing the, uh, like omnipotent percent. Sorry, my talking's gonna get being a bit hard. When you complete for omnipotent percent, I need these guys. Uh, you get the achievement, but I was wondering if you could uh, like do the split personality badge going into the 10th one to get all, like all nine, like all nine achievements, like right away. So you don't have to do the entire line to get all like the shaman, the shaman level 10 achievement and then the zealot achievement, like have all the split personality like right away. So you can get all 10 of them like right in a row. I wonder if that would work. Oh, so why I'm coming here, these guys don't sell me Planet Busters. That would give me a start on Galactic Adventures achievements. Oh yeah, there's like, create like 250,000 adventures with other, with the uh, actors in it and stuff. And it's like really, really long and really hard. Yeah, I was about to say, save check. Uh, so what, what, what am I talking about here is the uh, practice of order. These guys are a diplomat. I want these guys, uh... To be allied. They're going to lose their alliance later though when we ally the Grox. But what I want these guys, I want these guys to become a level 5 empire so I can do the split personality with the diplomat. Because doing a diplomat split personality uh, only requires you to make five alliances, which I think is the easiest. I think it's here. That's one of the other one. Which is, I think is one of the easiest uh, split personality missions. Like some of the other ones are really, really long. Yeah, there's my buster. And the um, Zealot is also a pretty good one. That's colonized 15 different planets. I think it's this one. This one, is it? So I want the Diplomats to be level 5 to begin those uh, split personality missions, and I know that was the location of, of one. There's my buster. So I have three. I'd be surprised if it just, like, crashed here. I feel like it's a loading planets thing. And I do believe, yeah, Spode's chosen. I do believe this is, you can do the save and split personality reset to get the badges. Oh, I was talking about the achievements, uh, like, you know, the, the banner achievements to be like, you did level five, but you can do the split personality to do those, but I want to make sure I was being specific. I was talking about the achievements you get, like you, you did level, you did level 10 on the, uh, on the master badge for like Zealot and Diplomat and everything. I want to make sure that was sure. You got to do like each one individually. Okay. Do you have to start it and you can't do any split personality badges? Like you got to be clean all the way through. Is it like that particular about it? Uh, so these guys are also philosophy of faith. That means these guys are Zealots. So these guys are also going to be... Some good ones to ally eventually. Uh, I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to ally the Grox and these guys are all going to get pissed off at me for allying the Grox. So there's no real point in making them ally allies right now. But I do believe there's one more. I think it's this one. Uh, Philosophy of Force mission. A Philosophy of Force. Force. Um, Empire so I can buy the last. Planet Buster. Hooray. Planet Buster. And four Planet Busters will give us 50 Brick Galactic Code points. And that's what I need. So I have enough planet busters. I'm gonna cry. What, what happened? What did I say? Sorry. I'm, getting, I'm losing three and a half hours in. Oh, so many crashes, so many things going wrong. Hopefully I'm still still going great. 142. Thank you all so much for watching again. It's really appreciate all your sticking sticking around through all the fumbles. Uh get the achievement with two saves. Uh, okay. I think you have to start it and be clean all the way through, but now I'm questioning myself. Yeah, there's a lot of things that's like, unless I have like literally tried it exactly myself, it's like I always have like a little bit of doubt, like maybe it is possible. There's a lot of stuff like that where I feel like I want to answer the question so precisely, but I uh, can't. I want a colony here. I don't have one. Yeah, so the guys aren't, aren't mad yet. I'm going to start doing some missions. 
Abduct a citizen. You should still have the achievement. You, you can get this split personality badge just to get all the faster badge, but saving before hit him to change philosophy and, and get the achievement and then reset. So that does work. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. That'd be a good way to get all the badges really fast. Or all the achievements really fast. But you still can't get the... There's also an achievement for starting. Oh, shit. Uh, oops, sorry. Um, I should get rid of that ally's shit before they start attacking uh, the defending rocks. Because I got made that ally. So if I got rid of that guy in time before they started attacking and defending and destroying the Grok spaceships, because they'll blame me for that. Got to make sure they didn't get mad. Um, and I need a refill. But so, like, you know, when you arrive, it says, like, play as a shaman, and that's in space stage. And that's coming from, like, civilization stage. So you may have to do some certain ways in civilization stage first to get those as well. Okay, they didn't get mad at me for having that ally there. I still can't recharge them. I'm going to start planet bustering them though. Starting achievements aren't bad. Impotent for each is real pain. Yeah, so if there was a way to kind of overlap them like that, that would be pretty sweet. I wonder how long it would take versus. Uh, I use the planet buster. You can use the planet buster in their system as long as you don't use it on their planets. And then the Grox will, will, will like it. Uh, yeah, but waiting for a, 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 a waiting for an empire to become level five. I wonder how long that takes versus just doing it for the fifty minutes because you know it takes about fifty minutes to do omnipotent. Yeah, there's Great Galactic Code. Now I can finally recharge and recharge my ship. So I wonder what the difference is, like if it takes more than 50 minutes for them to uh, become level 5. Right, produce a something plant. So you can't refute, you can't trash these missions or they get mad at you on hard. On easy you can just trash them whenever you want. Whenever you want. Circuit 2 system. Or card 2. Is this a planet? Shrogner? Uh, but you have to do what they want. Or you can save and quit and reroll. Is it this guy? There it is. I got something. We gotta do both Wander and Knight independently. Yeah, you gotta do Knight from scratch. But it's an interesting just kind of theory. I like doing that strategizing to see, like, what's the best way to do something like that? Yeah, we're looking pretty good. Take a save. Now that we're in pretty good standing, I'm gonna do a couple um, planet busters. I'll do it on the non-creature stage planets. Gotta do three more. Yeah, because there's no way to like get night from space stage. Kablooey! There we go. More planet buster. You know, like the knight's ability. It's really good for like, you know, the start because it can add to your allies list, but once you get five, it doesn't become a sixth a sixth ship uh, anymore. It's only uh, up until five. So it's pretty good for, you know, the first bit, but since it only takes like 50 minutes to become omnipotent and it's the progress bar that gives you allies uh, for the summon mini you, I, I feel like it uh, comes not as useful pretty quick. And then you can all explore achievements. Media creations would make it impossible. Yeah, I feel like it's like only the ones that aren't online, I feel like would be fair. As it's like, you can't, uh, you get the other ones where it's like other get banned or something. No, it crowded again! Maybe I need to like reset my computer. It was just bef it was just before I was planet bustering. No, it just stop crashing! So yeah, such a low cooldown on Planet Busters. That's that's why I'm paranoid. I always start. I uh, started saving so much for that eventuality. That was that was pretty good. That was like a whole ten minutes. I got a whole whole ten minutes to no crash. I don't remember. What, is there any way for anyone to know, like in like a like a data dump or something, to see like what's causing it? Like if I can avoid avoid something, or maybe I did something in a kind of a, a strange order or something. But it didn't. I didn't nearly get that far. 
I'm just gonna start busting planets again. Get to see the planet buster animation a bit more. <laughs> Spore one point explore out. Difficult to ally them. Your ship has so much less health. They got send like five ships. They uh, they do send a lot of ships once you get like closer to the center of the galaxy. I feel like they send a ship like per uh, system that goes by you, unless it's like even more than that. But like yeah, when you're going to the center of the galaxy, like you have like five or six chasing you at a time. Okay, this isn't taking too much longer. I don't think so. Putting strain on the computer, if, like it's gonna be like a RAM or something issue, because with a four gigabyte patch, maybe it's not enough or something. Because my computer is like way too overpowered for this game. Uh, like an i9 13900K. I just bought it recently. I've been having like I've used like not so great computers in my past, but I finally had like the funds to really invest all in in a really good computer. So I got a 13 i9 13900K and a RTX 3080 with like the 12 gigabytes of VRAM. I think if that's possible, or 10, 10 or 12. Eight crocs at the time. That's uh, that's pretty good. That's a whole lot of ships. Okay, I need a few more missions. But we're going to save. At least the game loads fast. Loads, loads quickly. Oh, interesting. They're not chasing me. Look, they're trying to chase me. But is it because I'm still the ghost ship? I didn't actually know that. Look, they're trying to chase me, but they can't. So that makes it even better. I don't even have to even worry about anyone chasing me. I feel like that's also a thing uh, when you attack another empire. Like, they still don't see you. Like, the ghost ship mechanic is still, like... You're still dead, so they can't attack you. Oh, look at that, they trade! Look at that, you can trade with the Grux, as we are positive. Didn't know if, if y'all knew you can actually trade with the Grux and they make funny noises. <laughs> yeah, they make, they have, like, their own trading uh, dialogue that's different than, um, than normal. Or compatibility mode with Windows, maybe. Yeah, it's probably something like that. Compat use compatibility mode. We got an infection. An elimination mission. Oops, I save. Does Tor is doing what it does best, Crash. Yeah, it's it was a really good computer. The and I got it like pretty recently. Zap, like plankton. Zap. <laughs> Uh, the current the computer I was using before that most of my videos were made on was like an i5-6400 uh, with a 1060 in it. So this is a huge improvement and it's pretty great. I can render videos that would take me like an hour and a half in like five minutes now. Like the rendering on my computer from for videos. It's pretty great. Like I don't have to be super careful, make sure all my settings are perfect before I can just say, yep, render. And I'm like, oh, it didn't work out? I'll just render it again. It uses like 500 watts though when it's rendering, so there's a lot of power being used. But still pretty great. There it is. I, come up, I have used to have had a fairly, fairly bad computers in the past, so it's pretty great. I have finally good computer for so many years having bad computers. I used to work with like i3s for most of my life. I3-2120, I think is what I had for a very long time. Might get any more missions. Need more missions. You guys see something? Sure, go for it. I'm always here to answer questions. Feel free to answer, ask any questions, 141 people. Thanks again for watching, that's awesome. And if, I'm totally here for any questions. I feel sorry about it. Doing questions. Oh, I should have saved. Because this mission sucks. I gotta search for like three things and bring it somewhere. Let's see. Uh, where am I going? Find all my facts. Uh, the circus in the system. I think this is where I'm bringing it, actually. No, this is. Oh, no, it's one of them. I should have saved before because, um, yeah, Pentium probably. Used that before. I don't remember, remember the computer I had before the i3. I went 20, it was probably even worse. Had like legitimately like half a gigabyte of RAM. Fastest way to 
destroy the Gronk's plan is terraform, terraform to death. Yeah, we'll definitely check that out. Well, there's a lot of things I want to time like that. See, like, what's the most potentially the fastest. Maybe this mission sucks. I'm still saving them. <laughs> uh, which planet am I going to? Which system? Tyre system? Is this not even the planet system I'm trying to get to? Oh, it's not. Corcus system, Kyogon planet. There it is. I think it's time to save. I just saved. But you can't, um, you can't delete their missions on hard. Or are they gonna see it as refusing missions? Uh, like you can on easy, but on hard they they see they see you. You can't can't delete it. But at least they're pointing me where to go. But I like the ones where it's like elimination or fetch a fetch a plant or something. Those ones are a lot easier. This one's perk system. Planet Pinzi. Pinzi spawn. Cube world. Yeah, gotta make sure it's also not stealing their resources if it's on a planet. Now, okay, now I now deliver them all to Myris, wherever that is. It should be pointing me though. Is it here? Wait, how does this mission work? Oh, is it at one of the planets I was just on? Wait, what mission is this? Where, where do I go? Oh, I'm going over here. I gotta deliver that somewhere else. To Myris. I've come with a delivery. There we go, now I can go back and now I can- we're almost done. <laughs> Alright, I did your delivery. Now I can ask for trade routes. And I can save. <laughs> Let's get one more mission and more trade routes. Because I'm almost there. Brooke, uh, trade missions. Yeah, so the trade route's worth 30 points, so she could be 65, but I haven't done enough missions yet. Yeah, let me go to another place. I need three trade routes for the plus 30, I believe, and then I can do another mission. Let's save. In case I get another triple delivery mission, I want to reset that. Find a travel member? Oh, that's much easier. Travel member. Okay, and it's basically pointing me right to it. So I know if you uh, y'all knew you can trade with the Grox, and I set that up earlier by making sure they were the first contact, the Empire I contacted, that's what uh, sets them up to be able to be traded with. And then once we improve the relationship enough, we can actually trade with them. They look just like our own Empire, like everything is this like full price. They don't have an actual archetype, so they don't have the ability to make anything a discount. So that's why they... Uh, They'll trade everything at full price, just like we do. And no discount in case um, we did have... I don't think they give a discount if we have, like, the ability, like, the discount ability. Because it's, like, to them specifically. So now I think we just have to wait for the trade routes, because that should get it to 72. It's basically just on a timer now. I can just do more missions just while we're waiting. Speaking of missions, how about you save? So it takes a bit of time. Find the snow globe. Okay. Um, it's we have to look at the planet. It's like two to three. Um planet starts with ER. These ones kinda suck too. Doesn't tell you exactly. There it is. It's the Terra Score 1 planet. Urin 4. The archetype of is Groxism. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm keeping up a chat. Uh, uh, did I miss that person's question? Did they ask a question? I think bad streamer not answering the questions.
Ghost ship returns. Who uses the supply in North Korea? How many planets do the Grox have? They have 2,400 systems, supposedly, but they have a random amount of planets because the planets within the systems are generated when you arrive at the system. So for sure, the system is 2,400. And then from there, it's random. We have 5,000 planets. Probably on average, they probably get two planets. But it's not like an exact amount. I smell a save coming on. Smell that? Save. We're still waiting on trade routes. Trade routes are still taking forever. I guess I can do another mission while I'm waiting. Abduct a citizen? Yeah, these are much easier. That triple... Yeah, the, uh, the... The triple, uh, delivery missions suck. So on easy, I would just, like, discard that and get a different one. Oh, I got one. It'd be funny if I, if I uh, acquired multiple of these civilians the first time we went for the missions, I wouldn't have had to actually come back because I still would have had them in my cargo and I could have delivered a second one. I wonder what happened to the first one, though. Why they need a second one. So now we have maximum gifts and maximum completed. Now we're purely just waiting on the, uh, the trade routes, which shouldn't take too much longer, I don't believe. I want to establish a base nearby, though. So I'm going to buy a couple colonies from these guys. I can buy colonies from the Grux, which is pretty great. If you don't answer a bullet in my walls, the uh, question was, where did you get the Grux waving image on some of your thumbnails? Oh, that's a that's a good one. It's in the main menu. Um, I probably would show that. Oh, wait, wait, marry me again. I'll, um, it's in the main menu when you use a Grux... Um, a Grox character. You just kind of click the three dot views. My Sporpedia button actually doesn't work because of the ghost ship. I can't show you right now, but it's, um, I can show you like what the full view looks like. Let me get that up. I can show you so you can try to find this. One sec. It looks like this. There it is. It looks like this picture. It's like in the main menu and you like view the Grox from like the three dots. And I just cut it out uh, into into the uh, in PowerPoint. Hopefully that, that makes sense. I just feel, should be able to show you a bit later though. Are you gonna show me the Grox by buying them? Now we're just allowing the Grox to get the, uh, the badge and then we were going to basically start attacking them from there. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Oh, there's, there's Ally. I'm gonna save. I actually want to make this a checkpoint. Uh, one of those checkpoints, I'm going to their green smiley face. I'm going to copy and put this in the, where's my works in progress folder? Big works in progress. All right, spore space pre ally rocks. So now we have this checkpoint, so we can always return to this point in case something gets messed up because I'm about to ally the rocks, which is kind of like a very pitiful, uh, pivotal point in our history here. So we have our trade route plus 30, 85. Thank you for receiving me. And ally. And this is everyone who we contacted before are now really pissed at us for doing such a thing. So now we have allied the Grox. It's going to be a bunch of achievements or uh, badges here uh, as we do all of the warmonger and it will give us the d dance with the devil one. You always said nah. -uh. Oh, there's, and there's people attacking me. You can't beam up a Grox person because they're toxic. Oh, interesting. I don't think I've actually tried that. Oh, there was the Dance with the Devil one. It's right there. It's Dance with the Devil right here, and the badge out of heck for destroying the Grox Empire is right here. So that we had to do this first. You've allied with the Grox. Are we on the dark side now? Uh, we have allied with the Grox, so now we can have this badge so we can start destroying the Grox. And we're at three hours in. I feel like that's... That was actually my goal for this stream. It actually took a lot longer. I was thinking this was only going to take about maybe two and a half hours, but the these the uh, crashes and me playing so poorly in creature stage took so long. Not quite done yet. There's still a bit more I wanted to do, but that was the main goal for the stream. And being three hours in, my voice is really going. And I feel like I'm 
really want to do this more so we can start destroying the Grunks. So I'm probably just going to end the alliance with them and then we can just really start experimenting with how fast we can destroy the Grunks through various methods. But we can at least have a bit of fun uh, being allied with the Grunks because look at all this greenery. It's like, pretty fun. I remember that's also one of my thumbnails was the, um, the ally the Grunks one. I just like took a screenshot of... Where's the center? Of like the center of the galaxy basically just looked like this and put that waving Grox like in front right here. That was before I started using like the banner achievement uh, uh, thumbnail style. So it was just kind of like this background with the waving Grox trying to make him look all happy and nice like you're allied with him. And I think that we're kinda, that, that uh, thumbnail look, turned out pretty well. So I also, before we go, I wanted to make like a base of operations around here-ish. Uh, just before we, uh, before we go. So we can always have like a place to go back to and also it will like distract the Groks because they will want to attack our colonies and I don't want them to like attack way down here because this will uh, be a pain. But if we have basically a diversion that's closer to them, they'll attack here when we're at war with them. And we can... Um... What's that? And we can... Uh... They'll attack here instead. It'll be This will be like our dedicated... Uh, military defense zone with uber turrets and stuff. What's this? Oh, this is so rare. Okay. And it's just a red spice plant, so it doesn't really matter too much. But, but we definitely want uber turrets and everything, so I'm not sure exactly what... <laughs> and now you can finally start looking at this character more. So we got colony packs. Probably don't need to buy it from here because it's pretty expensive. Ooh, 48,000 is maximum. But what's Uber Turk? Uber Turk costs seven hundred fifty thousand from us. I wonder who can who sells it for cheaper. That's the kind of stuff I wanted to go back to and go see. But that's also a main thing is what I wanted to do right now, is go back and get those other two places I want allied uh, faster. I'll make sure I can't have a chat. I wonder if you can ally the Gronks without contacting any other empires. Yeah, I believe you could. You could, especially if you have fanatical frenzy. You need a way to destroy the Galactic Code, or um use the embassy and make sure you use the embassy before they start attacking you. So it is, I think it's technically possible to outweigh the Gronks without contacting anyone else because you could just use the ghost ship to get here. Uh, well actually, you can't really use the ghost ship because of the... It's a soft lock when you use the ghost ship on a planet. That's why you had to use the uh, return ticket to get out, it and get, get out of it and get a new brand new ship. So you can also get here by just doing missions from yourself, like using the Missionista 1 badge. If I still have it on here. Where's Missionista? Missionista one unlocks you the energy pack, so you could actually just make it to the center of the gal uh, to the Grox using energy packs without having used the ghost ship by going uh, by just doing missions for yourself and getting enough money through rares. And then you could use actually no, you couldn't do it because the embassy requires you to get uh, diplomat five, which requires of course you get to other ones. So I think you would have to start from you'd have to do it through. Um, coming from the other stages to get something like Fanatical Frenzy to break the Galactic Code. In that case, I think you still could ally the Grox without contacting anyone else. Um, you do, I'm gonna make sure I'm caught up on chat. Uh, I mean like if you, oh, we're talking about uh, GeoGeo Geo versus Steam. Yeah, GeoGeo Geo is pretty good because it doesn't have any DRM, so you can like install it infinitely yourself. Uh, even if like Steam goes down, you can still have the game and it gives you a CD key, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then, just playing Explorer, yep. Three hours, just chilling early Civ stage. Oh, nice. I like Civ stage. Civ stage is great. Just hanging out with. Does the Gronks mind if conquer plants from the Fanatical Frenzy? Mind? Yeah, you can conquer the plants with the Fanatical Frenzy as long as you don't drop the Fanatical Frenzy directly on their cities. But yeah, you can con you can use the Fanatical Frenzy on their planets and, and in their systems. And they actually like it because they only see it as a benefit of breaking the Lactic Code. They don't see it as conquering our cities or using harmful tools or anything. So it's actually really beneficial to use Fanatical Frenzy on their planet, just don't hit their cities with it. Uh, but yeah, you would need to do that uh, to not have to contact another empire. Uh, okay. Uber through warriors? Oh, there's several warriors. That would actually be a good thing to do. But I'm going to do a couple other things first. Let's see how expensive it is to... Uh, yeah, so when you outlet the Grox, you get minus 200, which typically puts them into war. There's only a few that I actually really care about in here. I'm um, gonna save. I've just been kind of sitting here. 
Where is my path back? There it is. I also believe I want a couple of them. This one's also another um, zealot, I believe. And so I want these guys to develop fairly large to become a five star. Perhaps some money. Oh wow, that's really expensive because I'm fairly high. I believe this costs based on how high your uh, progression is. Let's see how much that does. A weak piece offering? Oh, I guess that's fine. I still have some money. I need to go back and get more money. Weak piece offering. Is there anything else I can do? I can trade with them to get more... More happiness. How much is trading? Plus two. Think I can get there? Need something cheap. How about crop circles? I feel like it's just based on how many things you buy. But I do need some more money. That would be better. Uh, consequences for this run? Yeah, the consequences were uh, green, blue, green, green. Green for shaman, because you need three greens for shaman, and we needed the return ticket to, to use the invincible ship. And we used blue to get the speed demon, because we had one option to not have to use the the speed demon. The one one didn't need to be blue. Okay, I'm going to go get more money. And then I'll be back, and I need to ally certain ones of these to start making them five stars. So money is our next goal. That's probably going to be a goal a lot of the time. But that makes sense. Because uh, remember, there was a few places where we needed them to be happy with us. And I need like three million. And these people can just sit here unhappy, twiddle in their thumbs. I'm not doing anything with them. I just need a few. And my allies can hopefully attack them. If I never contact them, it's almost like they don't get like activated, kind of like in the same way civilization that civilization stage glitch works, where if you don't look at a defending city with religious, it's like they don't do anything. I'm not sure if that's how it works in Civ, but it kind of does. So see how these guys don't have any extra colonies, but these guys do because I contacted these guys, but these ones don't. They're kind of like dormant still. It's like the game hasn't activated, hasn't like activated that empire empire yet to start advancing, so that they don't like outpace you. Favorite order is blue, green, green, green. Yeah, that makes sense. That's pretty good, I think. So I'm going to make a bit more money. I already have 25 of these. I'm going to start cleaning these up from the Grox. A bit more money, and I want those particular ones allied, and I think that would probably be where I'm going to end it for this stream once I get there, which will take probably a couple more, a few more minutes. But yeah, I wasn't actually expecting to destroy any Crocs and cities this first stream, ironically. There's still a bit of setup, but we're three hours in, and after here we should be able to get like straight into it. This is basically as far as I prepared. Like I always try to prepare and prep what we're doing in the stream. And that's just basically as far as I've gone. I'm almost there. I want to make sure those people are allied so they can start becoming five stars. So we have our split personality badge empires like set and ready to go. And then this week I'll be able to like plan and prep like you know uber turrets and like a couple ways of making sure we destroy the Grox smoothly. Yeah, these guys don't want to sell me any money. Maybe this is Russia. Yeah, these guys are all mad. Hopefully they don't attack me too fast. I should probably help these guys out to pay them so they're not so close to me. 14. Because I have like no uber turrets or any turrets of any kind. So I'm pretty exposed here. It's like everyone's attacking you at once. I mean, I have the invincible spaceship, but... 32. That's 32. Look. 32 is pretty weak. I'm not going to go for 32. I want a little bit more money than that per thing. Oh, did I miss it? No, no, no like the cards? Yeah, did not I not show you the cards? Oh, if we, uh, if that makes sense. Nope, not good prices. When you evolve. Yeah, there's the, uh, the raids. Who's attacking me? Actually, what was the price? Uh, what... Cards when you evolve, so like, uh, like what do I have in space? I have Social Suave, Speed Demon, Grace's Creator, and Greenkeeper. Hopefully that's what you mean. No, there's someone there. No good prices. Oops. 
I actually need kind of a decent amount of money. These might just be pirates. I need someone to trade with me, and no one wants to. Everyone's mad at me. This would be hard for no glitches, not having uh, infinite spice. I think the spice should rotate by now. Gotta develop slowly, so don't extend too many colonies unguarded and next to too many uh, hostile people. Okay, I'm gonna do the saving quit glitch to try to uh, get more. As I just said, I don't want to expand too much, but I need a new, brand new colony that I know I can uh, keep changing the price for. So I need more money, and no one's wanting to sell me anything. Because every, like, uh, 19, let's do this little. Every like run where I do an ally the Grox run, usually it's like over. I've never it's kind of like a weird like post end game scenario where I actually have to like live with the consequences of allying the Grox. Normally the speed run's just over and I and I leave. I'm not used to uh actually having to deal with this. It's like I actually have to make more money. It's like this is really kind of into the main run where we're gonna start destroying the Grox. It's kinda of like phase two, if you look at it like in a big broader scale of like we need to establish ourselves. Make sure we have plenty of colonies, because the Groks are going to want to attack us, too. we got to make sure our places are nice and fortified wherever they want to attack us. So we probably aren't, aren't going to make a huge empire right away, because we're going to want to focus on destroying the Groks. The Groks empire. Uh, instead of making colonies. Still the minimum. So all the price, spice prices work, in case you didn't know, the... Uh, planet color is always minimum, and then it chooses two other colors. So basically, it has a two out of five chance of choosing purple to be the minimum, and it's yellow. So yellow will always be minimum. You imagine having to live with your consequences. I know, right? Weird. Oh, oh yeah, and the in-game time pauses during these load screens because it's uh, considered a load, and technically these load screens don't even really do anything. It's just like wasting time. Forty-eight. There we go. Forty-eight. All right, let's go. Let's get like a bunch of money. I don't think I'm going. I'm actually gonna save that. That way they are locked in. I don't know if I'm gonna get like maximum money, but I feel like I want to do this like a few times. Hopefully, y'all want to stick around. Basically, doing the unedited version of the maximum money speed runs. Uh, I'm not sure if I put extra spice. Oh, I did. Uh, maximum money spice speed runs. Get the grok ship out of the way over there but we are going to basically store additional spice not like that though and keep selling it to that same maximum price colony over and over to have lots of money so we can have at least a few of our nearby empires and our select ones for that we want five, uh, level five tier to be happy with us so we can have them start developing Capitalism, yeah, the massive inflation speedrun. That would be funny if it, like, an interesting, like, game theory or something to be like, do, does everyone use the same currency or is it all, like, converted into our currency? Because I feel like this would be crazy hyperinflation if everyone, like, shared the same currency. But if we just are, like, basically ruining the, the local economy of this empire, then it might not matter as much. And we are getting the maximum money on hard, I do believe. Yeah. Oh, actually, no, we're not. One one step below. 48 is, is the second most, but 58 would be the most. But I think 48 is plenty. Looks like we needed at least 3 million to, it, to at least call off the war, which would be good enough. We don't need to make everyone allies with us other than those two that I have picked out. Because the, like the Grox, like they always say they have no value for money. But yeah, you know, when they they always give us like a hundred thousand spore bucks, which like it could just be like a lot. Of, they just could be accumulating a lot of money, or it's because like maybe we value Grox money, and that's what makes it valuable to us. They're like here's like their normal currency, like here's like a dollar because for all that work. But like wow, a whole Grox dollar that's gotta be worth like a hundred thousand spore bucks. 
If you do have a Spore account, yeah, I have a Spore account. Uh, I don't know if you were the one who asked earlier about which one it was. Do you have a Spore account? Yeah, it's a. Uh, it's spelled like a than toke a t h a n underscore t o k. I don't know if you can find that on Spore.com. That's the one I use. It's like our old family account that I used to use, and it's like 2008. I still have the password and email for it, so we just, I just like, I'm like the only one in my family who uses it still. But that might, I don't know if it's like searchable or not on sport.com, but you should be able to find it. It's, there's not like a lot of creations. I actually like got rid of a lot. I have them all locally downloaded, but I don't save a lot of them uh, in the account because when I do like, like when I was trying to set up that uh, Galactic Adventures video, and I had to download everything through the account. It was a lot easier to basically have nothing get downloaded to make it like as as clean as possible to not have anything from like you know my Spore account show up in there. So it was easier to delete. Yeah, money comes to people's belief. It's all meaningless. Yet there's no like central government like United States where I live. It's basically saying like this money is worth this. So how do they all value it? It's not like latinum or something. Gold press latinum or different species value it. Without a central authority. Not sure. Maybe funny game theory or something. Okay, I think... I think that might be enough to at least halt some wars. Let me save at 19,000. Oh, 19 million. Time to save, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Still a really solid 143 viewers still. Thank you all so much again for watching. Wow, perfect time it crashed. Woo, it saved. Wow, it wasted zero time. Thank you, uh, Co Coca, again, for the, the reminder. I saved as well, but yeah, thank you for reminding me because that would have also saved. Yeah, Frankie Freeze. We just changed. Woo, no loss of time. Perfect timing to save. And that was pretty good. I, didn't, I haven't crashed in a while. That, that's been like half an hour, so maybe it was just bad luck. I feel like that was a pretty good stretch. Yeah, look at that. Didn't even lose any time. 19 mil. Oh, we actually are being attacked by the purple, the purple people. Let me, let me pay them. Uh, perhaps many, many can end this war. What's the, there's two million a week peace offering. Oops, we made, oh, they even cost me money. Let's try three. A week peace offering. That still cost me two million. A week, and it didn't go up any higher. Actually, I want to. I want to test that. We have a save right here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna test how this works. I don't. I don't really get this far in space stage with a lot of wars. So this is we're we're learning together. <laughs> I was playing, got to the core, and at home, and it crashed in five five hours. No, that sucks. Sorry about. Sorry that happened. Oops, I didn't mean to go in here. Bravo. Oh, uh, to probably shoes you're willing to do the money. It's a badge for it. Yeah, W save. So the bottom one was worth nothing. They didn't even care. Let's see how much is this one worth. Miscalculate. Okay. So the bottom two are worth nothing. They're worth plus 12, but they don't remove the war. And it still charges us, so it's worth basically nothing. So the middle one we saw does do a weak peeps offering, also at 12, at plus 12 points. So I wonder how much the other ones do. We're all learning live. Let's see. So we did the middle one. Let's do the top one. Still a weak peace offering. Yeah, still 12. Uh, for the, the fourth one. So let's see what the top one does. Pie time. Yeah, 314. Get the pies out. Three hours, 14 minutes. It was useful to them. But it was useful to bribe other nations. So, so other empires. So I guess that's why it's useful to them. So I guess they don't have our money. So then they must not actually produce anything. So what's the top one do? A generous peace offering at 25. Okay. How much was that? I didn't see how much it was. I'm not going to do a generous peace offering for all these fools. So the bottom two do nothing. Three and four do the same. And the top one is a generous peace offering. So the most optimal one is the third level, the middle one. That's how I, I see that. Because that's the the cheapest one. And it's you get 12 bonus points anyway. Because that 12 plus 12 isn't there normally. So And it's not worth another... 
uh, 13 points for the generous one. And that only costs 3 million. So let's, uh, so hopefully they stop attacking and they leave. Oops, that scared me. I didn't see there was a notification on their empire because I had saved and quit. So let's just pay these. Yeah, 3 million. Yeah, these guys are super easy to ally anyway, so it's not like it really matters. It'd be cheaper to give them the 100,000 to uh, make them... The 100,000 to give them the generous gifts instead of through here, which costs like an additional million. So I'm gonna pay these guys. Maybe I'll... Y'all might be too far away. Oh, we are the same one. Okay. Splitting into different saves reduces lag. Oh, it has lag? I'm not sure what that one's for. Glad you're all having great conversations between each other. I'm not able to keep up as, as well, focusing too much on the game. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with this, this community here. It's pretty great. Hope I don't run out of money. I'm almost out of money. Okay, so I, I neutralized everyone around me, so there shouldn't be any attacks. Hopefully, let's see if these people go away. And it's literally as I crashed the game, I thought, I haven't saved in a while, but I saved real quick. As soon as you press control S, it's crashed on oh, the man. That, that sucks. That's not how that happened. Are they, these guys are still, they're still attacking me? Why would they want to attack me? Yeah, they're neutral. I'm gonna have to mini laser them. Can I put in turrets? Oh, I can't. Okay, well you're you're all gonna have to go away. The, my rock ship is more far more powerful than I am. Yeah, they're at war again, but I gotta make them stop attacking me. So I'm just gonna have to pay them the three million again. Hopefully the Grox ships doesn't get destroyed because that would be really bad for my relationship with the Grox. One more group and then I'll have to give them more money. There they are. It's only a, a one star empire, it's not. This isn't too bad. Ooh, is that a paint plant? No matter if I do. Cool, I'm a true hero. I need like better miss lasers and stuff. I'll probably be likely for next time. But I want to clean up all of the um, empires. Made it to the live stream? Hey JP, th thanks for stopping by. Glad you made it to the live stream. Oh, that's some money. Hopefully that's enough to at least prevent them from declaring war right now. Oh, those are UFOs. So these guys are at war again. Let me just pay them again. I should have you tried to boot them first. What a relief. Hey, yeah, another 12. Save. Access as Warmonger 5 badge? Probably. Let me see. Um Oh it's oh it's Conqueror, not Warmonger, it seems. Or Eco Hero. Conqueror 3. I wonder what I could do to get the Conqueror 2 badge quickly. Um, or the Mini Bomb or something. Because I feel like the Mega Laser would be really good. Uh, what's the Eco Hero do? I want to be faster. What if I could find some like Terra Score Zero Plants and do Conqueror 3? Yo, thanks for the, the hundreds. Yeah, y'all. Well, I'm not sure what the hundreds are for. But thanks. Regardless. Awesome. You'll have it with... Will this be a video stream only? Uh, I might edit into a, uh, a video one day, but right now it will still be on, it will just be a stream. And the uh, stream should be uh, public and live forever. Let's see, where's more of the pirates go? Oh, I think they left. No trouble at all. So I might have to find some easy ways to do some conquering. I wonder how I can do some conquering that's really fast. I wonder if Planet Buster counts. Okay, so I do need some more money again. Oops. And then I want to do those two more, a few more uh, allies. 
and then that will probably be the end for this because I'm still still had that in mind for this stream. I want to make those particular uh, empires that I want to use the split personalities from. I want them to be allies so they can get to work faster. I feel like them being allies would make them develop faster. And also, I also don't have to worry about... Oops, I actually want that. I don't have to worry about defending anyone else. I haven't slept it tonight. <laughs> that is no worries. I'm 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 like losing losing energy. I'm probably not even speaking coherently anymore. Of three and a half hours. <laughs> it's it's pretty good for me. I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully we can stream more. I was thinking of maybe doing like mi more shorter streams and maybe throwing some other games in there. And I'm but I'm really happy that still 100. 33? It's pretty consistent in like the mid-100 range for this long. This probably isn't as interesting, but still a bit of setup, and then we'll get to the very- the more interesting part where we start destroying rocks. Takes- took about three hours to get going, but this feels like kind of like a good- it's a good casual run, but still going quick. 32? How's 32 look? 32 is pretty low. I'm gonna try to beat 32. Oh, I missed, um, uh, Gonzalo said. Use some Cheat Engine to conquer the rocks? No, I won't be using Cheat Engine for this run. Uh, trying to have it, like, no, no cheats other than, you know, I used the 4 gigabyte patch, but I feel like that's not even, that should be, like, like, almost, like, required to be used nowadays. But other than that, it will be clean, because I have a timer on. I did find it kind of interesting. Oh, 58. Nice! 58! That's the max. Pretty sure 58. Yeah, uh, the shortest timeline ever video, I got some really interesting, strange comments on that video where they're like, you use Cheat Engine to speed up the game, but I'm like, it's not like a speed run. Uh, it's like a, it was like a theoretical game. It was like a theoretical stream where like, I was just going for like, like a, like a thought of experiment. Yo, Joshua Wheeled one, two, thanks for the, thanks for the super chat. That's awesome. Love the stream night, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate that. That's awesome. Uh, I'm still still shocked to see super chats. That's that's so cool. Just love hanging out with y'all and you wanted to contribute with the super chats. That's awesome. Thank you so much, uh, Joshua uh, Whelan. Really appreciate that. Yeah. So like that video was just kind of like a theoretical like like that's it's not even like I was trying to go as fast as I could. It was like how how short could we do it? Like in any means necessary. And I was like I just sped up the game. Because I had to wait for like the eggs over and over and it was like taking forever. And I was like, it's not a speed run. It was like just a theoretical. Yeah, task run. It's just like, how fast can, like how short of a timeline could it be? So yeah, I get some strange comments like that. Being like, use cheats. Like, not really. But it kind of feels different for this run because I am timing it. So I don't want to do anything to speed up the game with, uh, with cheat engine for this one. Perhaps in some other some other cases that might make more sense, but not not yet, not yet for this one. Each one ruined. Yeah, Cheat Engine is like a tool. Yeah, it wasn't even a speed run. Yeah, uh, let's see, almost there. I'm gonna do one more of these. Just have lots and lots of money because of getting that fifty-eight thousand is rare. So I want to make sure I use the. Get the most out of it. Oh, you can duplicate money in. If only, yeah, if only you can duplicate money like this in real life. I'm not sure which one it was. Oops. Didn't do it fast enough. It goes back down to five. There we go. Ninety-nine. One more selling, and then we will ally those other empires. Seeing how tasks look with Pokemon, we would see. Yeah, I was thinking about doing. What do they want? What? They want me to pay a million? If I say no, I'm gonna I'll, fine. I'll, I'll succumb. Who these guys want to give me ten thousand? Maybe if I make them allies, they won't bug me. But millions not really that much when I can do uh, 
And I can do this. Go back for 58,000. 58, I don't think Explorer, yeah, I don't think it has tasks. I'm not sure how to do a task in this run. Uh, there's some segmented runs that are pretty interesting. But uh, I was thinking about doing like a, like a cheat engine speed up speed run or basically I try to I can go through spore as fast as I can and I can speed up I can use cheat engine to change the speed of the game but like how fast can I beat it in real time if I'm allowed to change it to whatever I want I thought that'd been kind of a cool thing playing cell stage at like three or four times seems about optimal but playing creature stage at like 10 times might be easier okay what are we doing we're trying to get to but that's for the future future me yeah, it's glitch. We're not. The no yeah, no, maybe the glitch does work in real life, but no one's built a spaceship yet. That's funny. I think it's these guys. Do you want to destroy the Grox in hardest difficulty? You brave, you brave as another one. Oh, well, at least I'm, I'm using an indestructible spaceship glitch. Uh, I'm gonna use a generous glitch, a, a, a generous piece offer. Ooh, plus fifty generous piece offer. Maybe the. People who like like new acquaintances will give a better uh, peace offering. But these are the people I want because they are the philosophy of order, which is the diplomats, which are really good for the split personality. So I'm going to make these guys an ally uh, and make have these guys improve from a star one, a level one, and defend these guys if they get attacked. And I also want to make another couple other locations more diplomats in case... You can only do like one split personality badge from one people or something. But yeah, I have an invincible spaceship using an in-game glitch, which is pretty great. So, <laughs> so makes it a little bit easier. Or plus money equals ally. Yeah, people love money. Money solves everything. Yeah, generous peace offering. Now they're also allied to someone who's allied to the Grox. Yeah, this one's also order. I, I just I know where some of the locations are. And uh, these guys are um, a zealot. Actually, I don't want to use these guys. They're too close to here. I'm going to, they might conflict, and I want these guys to basically have no competition to spread out. So I'm going to not ally those guys. I'm going, there's another zealot I'm going to use over here instead. I like that one, Runger, and sitting on the YouTube content is very boring. Wait, I do a past Caspis Carnivore. Yeah, it's just an ecology run. Yeah, one of those are just like, you, you just, like, can I do a pacifist as a carnivore? I'm like, it's, where am I looking for? I'm like, that's just being like a green run. <laughs> and pacifist isn't even possible anyway. Oh, yeah, these guys. I didn't have, maybe I have to do a mission or something for them. I can do more trading. Because right, I say a pacifist is impossible because if you go from green tribal stage into civilization stage as a religious, there's no way for you to become economic without either destroying a tribe or capturing another city, which I consider attacking, which isn't peaceful. So I think it's kind of stuck when you get to civilization stage. That's why I've never made like a true peaceful or pacifist playthrough of Spore, unless there's some way I haven't considered to complete civilization stage starting as religious or try to enter civilization stage as economic instead of religious, because I think that actually makes it impossible. Let's say I have more trading. More trade. Half a slate, father. No, no worries, bro. Uh, we have catch you up. We allied the Grox, and we are allying a certain few of these guys to make them allies with us. I need to do one mission for these guys to make them allies because they are a I'll show you one sec they are a philosophy of faith which is the zealot ability so they will be able to do the philosophy mission for the split personality badge and I want that um, started basically to, for them to start developing where is that tribal stage Ganove system there we go they need a so I think on hard you can't get rid of the missions why I'm still doing this. Whoops, I missed the second one on accident. <laughs> sure. 
Uh, so kind of beats four as an ant where I'm just a really small guy. Uh, I think I saw that video. Did you see my creature stage glitches video where I actually did make a tiny character? Because I was still in the middle of making that video when I saw that uh, video and I was like, oh, did someone beat me to the punch? Did someone actually figure out the tiny creature and it was just like a small creature? I don't want to bad mouth other people's videos though, but that was just something I came up I, I, I had saw, but I don't want to make say other people talk about other video people's videos like in a negative way. That's not fair. If it's all entertainment, then you if it's entertainment and you got something out of it, then that's still good. But yeah, I was like in vague general generality, the uh, the spore videos I've noticed have just kind of been like I do creature stage in a funny way, game crashes. I'm like, okay, that's a that's a video. I'll put that on then. <laughs> I've noticed that sometimes, but I've noticed like there's a lot of good quality videos coming out. Like, like, uh, I don't know if you saw this new video by, this is another small channel, but they did basically the pacifist, the, the, not pacifist, they did the pitiful worm challenge where they put the mouth on the back of the creature, the back of the cell, and did all through hard. That video was great. I'm actually working on my own video of that, so it's going to be a bit redundant, but I've been working on that for a while, and I'm still going to make the video anyway. Um, I think, let me check on our Grox friends. Because that was what I wanted to do, was ally them. I need to prep a bit more to see how I can maybe unlock the inter um, mega lasers and stuff before we start allying the Grux. But, yeah. I'm gonna go to sleep. Night. Uh, thanks, bro. Thanks for watching. Bye. Some ideas to play through travel stay without saving, then using saving quit. Um, let's see. Let me read it through chat. I'm almost about to wrap it up as, as well. I think I did... I ally these guys and two other um, diplomats, and that was my goal. To ally the Grox, get to space stage, ally the Grox, kind of stabilize our situation and ally those two or possibly three places where they have the right uh, empires. Let me catch up on chat real quick. Play through travel without saving, then quit without saving, and then select the planet we owned before, and then do the economic... Yeah, I was almost like maybe doing like a cut uh, for the... Uh, the pacifist just be like we enter civilization stage as religious but the power of editing boom now we're economic to make it kind of con look continuous but not really but i didn't really want to do that what happens if you get to travel stage and then you go to the space stage play through on the monolith planet if you pull like monoliths or you do anything to the home planets of like non new games uh they like it's removed from the main menu it just gives you a different one yeah uh, yeah, it kind of like if you change like the terror score or anything like that, then you don't get, you don't, uh, it goes away. It just gives you a different one. Yeah. I feel like the pitiful worm challenges should always make the fattest possible. Yeah. Um, that's actually kind of what I was doing for this one. Uh, I have like the, the really, I made it, I call it the pitiful sausage run where I put the mouth on the back of the, of a large cell to make it like a giant hitbox. And also doing that that video with like without trying to do any glitches, so it's still kind of like an addition to what I've done before, uh, because putting on the mouth on the back of the cell really isn't that much more difficult in cell stage. So I wanted to do it in a somewhat more different way. So I'm doing it with like no glitches, which I think was kind of interesting. Did you finish killing the grass? Someone else. Um, bit of worm. Yeah, that's worm behind now. It's also. Okay. But yeah, I think that's gonna be about it for this third stream, about three and a half hours in. We got through where I wanted to get. Uh, I'm gonna pause here, or just, I'm gonna, oh, interesting, yeah, when you're a spaceship, when you're a ghost ship, you can't save in this method. You have to save with Control S. I'm glad that still works, or this basically would become impossible, and you can't save in the menu like that. So that's in the main menu. I'm gonna pause the timer there at 334, and I'll put that back on stream when we start up the next time. Don't uh, wasting time destroying the rocks. They have a wrapping up, and I'll, I'll I'm gonna plan out my next moves, and we should be able to start destroying some rocks next uh, stream. Uh, I'm not sure when that. It should be at least by next week, maybe earlier. Maybe I'll try some other games as well. Uh, yeah, the philosophy really cute. Yeah, it's kind of funny. It like makes it. When you're looking in uh, creature stage. Yeah, so really appreciate all y'all watching. I almost thought the total view count was the total concurrent views for a while, but still the uh, 100, still 128 view concurrent views, that's awesome. That's the best we've seen so far. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll, I'll keep up with chat if you want to hang out a little bit, but the main spores, 
uh, stop here. I'm going to make sure to get a save of that roaming file galaxy and put it in the works in progress folder. Oops, not the shortcut, not the full thing. Okay, so I have uh, destroy Grox day one. Maybe one day I'll put all these on the Google Drive or something so y'all can see my progress. But we we basically have this galaxy saved at this uh, this point. So if you ever want a checkpoint, we can come back to this point. We don't ever lose our progress. Yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'm King of Valence, and I'll see you next time. I'll hang out just for a little bit to wrap up. But yeah, thank you so much. Let's play a lot through Spore. Yep, yeah, here at the end was nice. Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you all so much for watching. Voice personality, I saw. Thank you so much, Green Error. That really means a lot. Night, all. Night, y'all. See y'all next time.